It's time for Kennet Indians football. Video sponsors for tonight's game include Harris Pharmacy, your locally owned community pharmacy in Kennet. Also by Baker Implement, providing a great selection of Case IH equipment with 11 convenient locations in Missouri and Arkansas. By McDonald's of Kennet, a proud partner of the Kennet community. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Also by Wilcoxon's Home Place, furniture and appliances. Shop smart, shop local. Wilcoxon's Home Place, a proud supporter of the Kennet Indians. Also by NEA Baptist, get better. By the law firm, Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Sheriff. Proven success, decades of experience, and a supporter of the Kennet Indians. By Sonic Drive-In of Kennet, before or after the game, this is how we Sonic. By Glenn Sane Motors, with locations in Kennet, Rector, and Paragol. Best price, best service, You'll find it at Glen Sane. Also by the law firm of Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan, LLP. Experienced lawyers fighting for you. Also brought to you by T.R. Baker Insurance, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennedy. By Dr. Andrew Beach, specializing in pediatrics on Tico Road in Kennedy. By First State Community Bank, Proud to be a part of the community and a Kennet Indian supporter. By Baker Wellman Brown Insurance and Investment Services. Serving families and businesses in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas since 1939. And the all new Kennet Bowling Lanes. Great fun, great food. Come out after the game, the Kennet Bowling Lanes. And now, Kennet Indian football. And good evening, everyone. Perry Jones coming to you from Mitch Cherry Stadium as we get set for Kennet Indian football tonight as the opponent of the Indians will be the St. Genevieve Dragons. St. Gen coming into this ball game 0-2 on the season with losses to uh, so a couple of pretty good ball clubs with a loss to Festus and then uh, last week to their crosstown rival, a loss to Valley Catholic. Of course, Valley Catholic defending state champions as uh, Perry Jones coming to you from the booth this evening as uh, Darrell Wilcoxon had other obligations. I think he's down on the square and uh, probably following along as he uh, plays along to some music tonight as a lot of activities going on in Kennet this weekend and Darrell involved in those and uh, be sure to tell your family and friends where they can listen and view our broadcast tonight. Now on the radio we're on KBOA AM 1540 and on KBOA FM 105.5 we're streaming on the KTMO The Wolf Facebook page. And both our radio and video stream is on KBOARadio.com. As uh, tell your fr family, friends outside the area that they can uh, tune in to our video stream and, of course, listen to our radio stream. A lot of folks uh, coming in to Metz Cherry Stadium this evening as the sun starts to set. A little warm now as the uh, sun starts to go beyond the horizon, but should be a, a comfortable night as we get set for football here from Metz Cherry Stadium. We're going to take our first pregame timeout and be back with more as our Countdown to Kickoff show continues in two minutes. You're listening to and watching Kennett Indian Football. Hello, my name is John McMullen, one of the four lawyers at the firm Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. Attorneys Mark Peltz, Richard Edgington, Shannon Morgan, and I have accumulated 117 years of experience in personal injury, insurance claims, real estate, bankruptcy, criminal defense, and more. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. We invite you to consider litigation experience. Let Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan be your law firm. Harvest, you have 
one goal, combining the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. So whenever you're ready, David, you find ready. yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. I just like to talk a little bit before it starts. Harris Pharmacy is locally owned and proud to be a part of the Kennett community. Their caring staff works hard to help their customers achieve better health with their MedSync and refill reminder programs. Harris Pharmacy offers free delivery in the city limits and also has a drive through for your convenience. Stop in today for all your prescription and over-the-counter medication needs. Harris Pharmacy, 1224 First Street in Kennett, proud to support area youth and wishing the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer is proud to be a part of the Kennett and surrounding communities that they serve. They play an active part in the community and support local schools and youth activities. This trusted team of attorneys delivers years of experience providing legal advice and services from general, civil, appellate, and personal injury to criminal, family, probate, and real estate law, plus trust, estates, and more. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer, located at 308 First Street in Kennett. Our national anthem tonight here at Mets Cherry Stadium before we get this one underway. Still about 12 minutes away from kickoff of tonight's matchup as Kennett plays host to St. Genevieve. The Kennett Indians with another big win last week to go 2-0 on the season as they knock off Donovan 53-7. The Indians put up 39 points in the first half and a big, big night for Jordan Jarrett, the junior running back, had four rushing touchdowns in the ball game. Added two receiving touchdowns, six touchdowns total for Jordan Jarrett. Now, Jordan had 10 carries for 107 yards total on the ground. The two catches for 24 yards. And just a big night for the junior, Jordan Jarrett, for the Kennett Indians. Well, Daniel Boatman came in during the second half, and the sophomore running back, he uh, picked up right where Jordan Jarrett left off. Daniel Boatman had five carries in the ball game. 45 yards and two touchdowns for Daniel. And the quarterback, Bodie Ellis, also another great game as he runs the offense for this Indian football team as Bodie carried the ball six times for 57 yards in the victory. He was 8 of 11 passing with two touchdowns uh, through the air and the victory over Donovan. Now the defense for the Kennett Indians were once again uh, dominant in the win as a big night from the junior defensive lineman Latravion Thompson. LT had a team high 11 tackles and two of those tackles were for losses. Well, we will take another two minute break. When we return, we will look at the starters on offense and defense for the Indians. This is Kennett Indian Football. A few days ago, we had a customer come by the Kennett dealership looking for a new truck. I had a really good visit with Phil and our salesman. Phil had his Army t-shirt and Army cap on, retired military. We're so proud of our troops, our active and veterans like Phil. Phil left in his new truck. We all enjoyed the visit. Best price, best service. Glenn Sane, and God bless our troops. At 
NEA Baptist, we look at healthcare a little differently. Being an integrated system, our campus features a world-class hospital, a host of specialty clinics, and a full-service cancer center all in one location. Plus, with 11 family practice and urgent care locations, we're always close by. Integrated healthcare means you have access to your medical record with one simple app, which allows you to message your physician anytime, anyplace. Experience integrated healthcare at the only integrated health system in the region, NEA Baptist. At McDonald's, they're passionate about their food. From making healthier additions to their Happy Meals to serving up fresh beef quarter pounder burgers that are cooked when you order. They're always finding ways to show their commitment to their customers and their food. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for 29 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful football season. Go Indians! Touchdown! The key to winning a football game is executing your game plan. Baker Wellman Brown Insurance can help with a plan to tackle your insurance needs. We can assist you with any need, including life, health, Medicare, home and auto insurance. We also help farmers and businesses score with affordable insurance plans. Call us today at 800-455-4677 for a winning game plan. Go Indians! Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium. Daryl Wilcoxon is on assignment playing music down on the square tonight in Kennett as uh, he will be back next week when the Indians travel to Carothersville to take on the Tigers. But here we're getting set for St. Genevieve. The Dragons come calling this evening to take on the Indians. Well, the Kennett Indians received some bad news yesterday as junior two-way starter Aiden Tidd was diagnosed with mono. Yes, mono, uh, not the COVID-19, but mono, and will miss the next four to six weeks as he is not able to have contact after uh, coming down with the mono. So they will have to play at uh, cautious for the next four to six weeks. Now, those are big shoes to fill up on that offensive and defensive line. On defense, stepping in, will be the junior Hayden Higgins. Hayden, who drew high praise from Coach Wyatt for his game last week, will be in there and also rotating in uh, defensively for the Indians in absence of Aiden Tidd will also be sophomore Trey Walls. So that's the way the Indians are going to try to handle the replacement defensively. Now on offense, sophomore Evan Parker will be in the starting lineup tonight, starting on the offensive line to replace Tidd. Now alongside Parker for the offense will be center Kiwan Hopkins, Josh Honahan, and Latravion Thompson, all offensive linemen. Now in the backfield offensively for the Kennett Indians, senior quarterback Bodie Ellis will lead the offense as uh, senior Jake Stewart will be the starting fullback and the tailback this evening will be junior Jordan Jarrett. The receivers will be Riley Spencer along with Camden Pritchett and Owen Ross for the Kennett Indians. The junior Tanner Duncan will be at his uh, usual position at tight end. So that's the way the offense will start this evening for the defense. This is the way the Kennett defensive line will shape up as the juniors Latravion Thompson and Kiwan Hopkins will be in there along with junior Hayden Higgins defensively starting for the Indians up front. Also senior Josh Honahan is a big presence on that defensive line for the Indians. The linebackers are led by senior Jake Stewart and junior Tanner Duncan. They'll play on the inside in the linebacker position. Outside linebackers, senior Camden Pritchett and junior Jordan Jarrett defensively for the Indians. Now the corners, Zatravion Williams and sophomore Tanner Pierce. And its safety for Kennett will be junior J.T. Williams. The Kennett Indian coaches staff of course, head coach Joel Wyatt, assisted by Lance Penn, along with Andrew Webster, Jim Tidd, Connor Gar, and Mark Ellis. As the St. Genevieve Dragons get set to run out on the field here at Metz Cherry Stadium, still awaiting the Kennett Indians to run through the tunnel and out onto the field. Warm evening, but uh, just a little bit of breeze blowing, and the sun starts to set. Should be a pleasant evening for football, and we're happy to have you along this evening. Once again, tell family and friends that we are streaming on the Wolf Facebook page. Also a video stream 
on uh, kboaradio.com, an audio stream on kboaradio.com, and over the radio, KBOA AM 1540, and on the FM side, 105.5 FM. We're about four and a half minutes away from the start of this ball game. Kennett and St. Genevieve will take another two-minute break. We'll be back with a coin toss when we return. This is Kennett Indian Football. When your child is sick, you want a pediatrician you can trust. Dr. Andrew Beach has been serving the Kennett and surrounding communities for over 20 years. Dr. Beach provides preventative, chronic, and acute medical care for children from birth to 21 years of age. He is now accepting new pediatric patients at his Kennett, Campbell, and Haytai locations. Call today to schedule an appointment for your child with Dr. Beach at 888-0001. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Beach. And, and we, we support our Kennett Indian. When it comes to taking out a loan, you need a team you can trust, a local community bank you can depend on. At First State Community Bank, we are that team. We're local people making local lending decisions. Whether it's buying a home or even a new car, you can rest easy knowing all decisions are made in the communities we live and work in. Speak to our expert lenders at your local branch or visit fscb.com today to get started. First State Community Bank, success starts here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, Bank NMLS number 412605. Is your home, autos, farm, business, or commercial property adequately protected from possible losses such as fire, lightning, windstorm, or hail? Disasters can strike us at any time. Let T.R. Baker Insurance Agency in Kennett give you the peace of mind you're looking for. We at T.R. Baker Insurance Agency support our Kennett Indians 100%. Go Indians! T.R. Baker Agency, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennett. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, a family furniture tradition. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, one of the largest selections of quality furniture in the southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, and western Tennessee areas. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, more service and less price. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri, a family furniture tradition. Well, the teams are on the field, and the team captains are out there. As for the Kennett Indians, Josh Honahan is out there as a captain. And the Indians have won the, the toss out there for St. Genevieve as a captain this evening with Zach Burr. So Kennett wins the toss, and we're about set to get underway. Good to have you along this evening. Still about two minutes left on the uh, game clock is... Uh, I guess everybody's ready to go, so uh, we are as well. So, Indians about to take to the field. St. Genevieve in their white jerseys with their uh, green trim. The Dragons will be kicking off from the north end toward the south end zone. Kennett will be working from the south toward the north. And if you're listening on your radio at home, that means Kennett's going from right to left on your radio dial. As you look at your radio, and if you're looking at our live stream on the Wolf Facebook page or at kboaradio.com, you'll be able to figure it out yourself. <laughs> As Kenneth still huddled up over on the sideline, and uh, we're about ready to get this one underway. 12 minutes on the clock. Good to have you along this evening. The referee is Dan Cox this evening, umpire Corey Adams, the head linesman Brent Douglas, the line judge Jared Bullock, and Corey Sisk is the back judge. As St. Genevieve tees it up, and we're ready for action here from Kennett as the Indians take out to the field, and Daniel Boatman will be the deep man along with Jordan Jarrett for the return for the Indians. You folks from St. Genevieve making the long drive down to Kennett this evening, setting across the way, wearing their green. Good Kennett home crowd here this evening a high kick angled toward the sideline and taken along the sideline and they're going to throw a pass back across the field that was Ellis flipping it out to Jordan Jarrett Jordan racing down the sideline only one man can stop him Jarrett cuts inside he's going all the way for the touchdown Jordan Jarrett the kickoff went to Bodie Ellis and the quarterback lateraled threw it across the field rem reminiscent of the Tennessee Titans in a playoff game and Jordan Jarrett when he caught it 
He was off to the races, and just like that, 15 seconds into the opening quarter, Kennett leads 6 to nothing. Well, it's hard to start any better than that. Jarrett with the kickoff return and into the end zone. Indians set up in that customary swinging gate formation. Now they will come over in the more traditional set as Hamden Pritchett will try to boot it through the upright. He has been very impressive this season, 11 of 12 on his extra point attempts. A good hold, and this kick is up and through the uprights and good. 7 to nothing. Kennett, 11.45 to go first quarter. We kick it off to St. Genevieve when we return in one minute. Doesn't a Sonic Bacon Cheeseburger sound delicious? With a 100% pure beef patty, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, topped off with crispy bacon? Yes, please. Pair it with Sonic's new toasted s'more shake. It starts with Sonic's 100% real vanilla ice cream, hand mixed with decadent chocolate chunks and golden graham cracker crumbs, topped with delightfully fluffy marshmallow and even more graham cracker crumbs. Try one today at Sonic, America's drive-in. Don't forget happy hour, two to four daily. All drinks are half price. Bring the family out for a night of fun at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. The Kennett Bowling Lanes has new owners and has been completely remodeled, and that includes their menu. Grab a lane for just $5 per game or $25 an hour, shoe rental included, and try their delicious pizza, burgers, wings, desserts, and more. Glow Bowling is every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to closing. Family reunion, birthday party, or corporate event? Ask about renting all 12 lanes. It's fun for everyone at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as the Indians lead this one seven to nothing. Kickoff to Bodie Ellis who lateraled across the field to Jordan Jarrett who raced 80 yards into the end zone. Pritchett's extra point was good. Now Camden will kick it away to the Dragons. The kick high down the center of the field. A couple of Dragons come over and they almost collide, taking it about the 12 up over the 20 and. They're going to wrap him up by the leg and bring down the return man, and that's Caden Fly with a return and good coverage by the Kennett Indians defensively down the field. So the Dragons offense coming out. And there on that tackle for Kennett was Tanner Pierce. Good job on the kickoff coverage. Line of scrimmage will be the 22-yard line for the Dragons. Aiden Boyer, sophomore, will be their quarterback. They're going to send three receivers out to the left, two to the right, so they are going to spread things out right off the bat against Kennett. Some of those linebackers will have to come out and cover, and they'll throw over the middle. A man wide open, passes complete across midfield. They try to strip the ball loose, and Kennett strips it loose, but it bounces right back in to the hands of a dragon and into the end zone for the touchdown is Caden Burak. Well, the ball bounced in favor of the Dragons that time. A good completion over the middle, and then the ball bounced just like a basketball. Streaking down was Camden Pritchett trying to catch him from behind, but the Dragons, with their first play from the line of scrimmage, with an opportunity to tie this football game after a long touchdown pass, the ball stripped and right up into the hands of another receiver and into the end zone. Dragons will try to boot the extra point as O'Brien will do the kicking duties, and this is blocked by the Indians, and it looked like in there first, Tanner Pierce for the Indians. So the extra point attempt no good. Kennett leads 7-6, to six, and we'll get the football when we return right after this. Hello, my name is John McMullen, one of the four lawyers at the firm Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. Attorneys Mark Peltz, Richard Edgington, Shannon Morgan, and I have accumulated 117 years of experience in personal injury, insurance claims, real estate, bankruptcy, criminal defense, and more. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. We invite you to consider litigation experience. Let Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan be your law firm. You have one goal, finding the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. Find yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. 
Getting it set for the return. Three men deep. J.T. Williams in the middle. Jordan Jarrett on the far side of the field. And on the near side, Daniel Boatman as the Dragons score on their first play from the line of scrimmage. Extra point was blocked, and here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. A high short kick taken by the Indians at about the 30. Straight up over the center of the field. That is Tanner Duncan across the 40 out to just near the 46-yard line. It's Duncan, sure-handed, tied in. Did not hesitate that time to get it and run north and south. Actually, south to north, <laughs> looking at the field. And the Indians with good field position as they come out. Their first offensive set of the ball game is Bodie Ellis, their senior quarterback. Will run this offense. Jake Stewart, the fullback. Jordan Jarrett will be the tailback for the Indians. Tanner Duncan will be the tight end of the formation. Riley Spencer out to the near side along with Camden Pritchett. On the far side, it looks like Owen Ross, the receiver for the Indians. In motion is Pritchett, left to right. Bodie awaits the snap. Takes the snap and hands off straight ahead, and they drop the football. Now picking it up is Jordan Jarrett. Might have lost about a yard on the play, but Jordan dropped it but picked it right back up, and fortunate wasn't a turnover there for the Indians. Actually, they're going to say he lost two yards. They're going to mark it back at the 44-yard line. So it'll be second and 12 for the Indians. Good to have you along this evening if you're watching in on our live stream on the Wolf Facebook page. Also at KBOARadio.com and, of course, on KBOA AM and FM. Streaming at KBOARadio.com for the radio audio. Man in motion left to right as Pritchett sets up along the left side of the line of scrimmage and hand it off. And running over the left side, here's Jarrett. He breaks free. It's a foot race down the sideline. Jordan tripped up at around the 20-yard line. Good block on the corner that time, but we got a hold against Kennett, so this one's going to come back. Kennett with a hold, and that's going to bring this big gain back, and it's really going to put the Indians behind the chains. It was second and 12, and the flag is back at the 41-yard line, so we'll see where they spot it down. 10-24 to go here in the first quarter. A couple of mistakes so far in the football game by the Indians. This hold brings back a big gain and puts the football just across the 30-yard line. We'll call it the 31 Indians have to get to the Dragon 44 to move the chains. It is second down, so they have a couple of attempts to gain it. And with this offense, it's normally not a big issue to pick up big chunks of yardage. Indians break the huddle, six seconds on the play clock. They'll have to hurry. Now three seconds, two seconds on the play clock. Ellis takes the snap, hands it off. Here's Boatman running left side, and he's tripped up as he comes across the line of scrimmage. Gets down to about the 34-yard line. After the big run by Jarrett, Boatman comes in. And it's going to be third down for the Indians, and call it about 22 yards to go. Indians at their own 34-yard line. They'll want to be careful here as Ellis gets the play call. Huddles his team up. Now they break the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Come to the Indians. Receiver to the near side, two to the far side. Man in motion right to left. And Bodie looks to throw. Throws a screen pass over the middle, and the Dragons play that perfectly. It was complete to Jake Stewart, but they snuffed that one out. And the Indians, for the first time this season, I believe the first time this season, the Indians will punt the football away. 9.26 to go here in this first quarter from Kennett. Kennett leads 7-6 to six over the Dragons and will punt the football away. A good snap and Pritchett's punt away. A big booming spiral taken at the 30. Up over the 35. They'll dance out to about the 38-yard line. Good coverage downfield by the Indians. And Pritchett's punt was a beauty. Nice high spiral. So the Dragons take over with 8.57 to go here in the first quarter. Trailing Kennett 7-6. Last time the Dragons spread out that offense and sent five receivers in the formation. And that left the middle of the field wide open. A big pass play. 
Receiver fumbled, but it went right into the hands of one of the Dragons. Jarrett comes out defensively, so the Indians make a defensive change in there as they rotate the linebackers in and out. On a warm night here for Mets Cherry, they'll run it over the right side. Some room around the corner across midfield. Now it's a foot race down the sideline, and the Dragons will go into the end zone with a touchdown. Zach Boyer, the junior. But hold on. The officials have laundry back at the 39-yard line. After the Indians had a long one called back, now the Dragons will have this one called back. But defensively, the Indians are seeing that the Dragons' offense can cause some problems. Granted, that time, some of the gain on that play was on a hold right over on the corner of the line. But nonetheless, something can it may be a little concerned about with the mark off. It'll put the Dragons behind the chains all the way back to the 30-yard line. So they will have to get out to the 49 of St. Genevieve to move the chains. We'll call it a first and 20. As they look over to the far sideline for the play call, and Aiden Boyer, the quarterback, moves under center. On first and 20. They'll fake the handoff, get pressure, and throw another screen pass, and it's complete. They're trying to beat that Kennett press on the corners and complete this little screen for 10 yards. Nice pass play that time as they throw it out to the back, coming out of the backfield, and a good gain over the left side. It looks like Beezer that time was with the reception and the pickup of 10, so that makes it second down and a very manageable 10. Back up under center, the sophomore, Boyer. Again, it's really brought the pressure early on, and little screen passes have caused some problems. This time, the handoff gets nowhere. It's played very good defensively. That defensive line stepped up that time, and as Caden Fly, the sophomore running back, just had nowhere to go. Travion Thompson, who led the team in tackles last week, was in there first defensively for the Indians. A third and 12 coming up for St. Genevieve. Two receivers to the right. They may be changing the play call as the quarterback, Boyer, looks to the sideline. Flies the running back. A couple of receivers to the near side. Zach Boyer and Beezer. Now whistles blow. So we'll see what we have here. And may be a timeout. So I believe it. One player is coming out of the ball game and another player is coming in, so they're going to make a substitution here. Not sure if there was an injury or what happened, but Thomas O'Brien will come in at quarterback now. So O'Brien comes in at quarterback. As Aiden Boyer goes off. On third and 12 from the Dragons' 37-yard line. Under center, O'Brien. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, has pressure from the backside, uh, scrambles out, and then from behind, it was Duncan. Pritchett also there, and a loss on the play should force a punt from the Dragons. Good pressure. That time it was Boyer, actually, as the snap went to Boyer, and he tried to roll out to the right, but fourth and 15, and Daniel Boatman will come back for the punt return. 6.40 as the clock runs here in the first quarter. 7-6, to six. Kennett with this one-point lead. Daniel awaits at about his 35, pressure by the Indians, and the punt is sky high but short. It's going to land on about the 45, but it takes a drag and bounce all the way inside the 35-yard line and rolls out of bounds at about the 33. So almost a block punt, but the punter avoided that pressure and then got off the high punt with the good roll at the end. Kennett, 7-6 with a lead, and the offense comes back out. Big run by Jordan Jarrett on that first offensive possession for the Indians was called back for a hold. Then not much happening after that as the Indians unable to overcome that 10-yard holding penalty and pick up the first. 
Now the Indians will send receiver out to the left. One in the slot to the left side and receiver to the right. Out of the shotgun is Bodie Ellis. Takes the snap and hands it to Jarrett. Jordan cuts back inside, has some room at the 40, has the first down as he dives across near the midfield stripe. They're going to mark him down at about the 45-yard line. There we see Jordan Jarrett and his ability to move the football down the field. Good moves, good speed. Jordan with his hands on his hips there. It's a warm evening here at Metz Cherry Stadium. So a first and 10 for the Kennett Indians, just shy of midfield, leading seven to six. As this one's been action packed from the opening kickoff. Kennett will shift from the right side over to the left side. Under center is Ellis, drops the snap, pitches it a little bit behind Jarrett, but he keeps on his feet and gains positive yardage somehow to midfield. He gained a yard, but snap that was mishandled, and then the pitch a little bit behind Jarrett, he was able to hang on and picks up maybe a yard on the play. Second and nine for the Indians at midfield. Other games around the area this evening. Brothersville at Donovan, Portageville at East Prairie, Haytai at Scott City. We'll try to get scores coming in from those games for you this evening. Clock. Approaches five minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Second and nine for the Indians. The nose of the football just touching the midfield stripe. Two receivers left side. Backs are in an eye formation now. As Ellis under center takes the snap, pitches it out to Boatman. Boatman around the corner, runs over a man as he shows his power and gets down to about the 44-yard line. Boatman just lowered his shoulder that time and ran over Zach Boyer for a good gain, and that makes it third and manageable now for the Indians, about three yards to move the chains. Football at the 44-yard line of St. Genevieve. Indians huddle it up. Now up to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers left, and they'll hand it off. Here's Boatman, first down, and he keeps on his feet and falls forward to about the 37-yard line. So the Indians move the chains. It'll be first and 10 as Daniel Boatman had the carry that time and picked up the first down. Bodie Ellis gets the play call and the Indians break the huddle and come back to the line of scrimmage. The rotating backs in and out here. Now Ellis will hand it off, darting to his right, diving forward. Good positive yardage that time for Hayden Higgins at the running back position. Higgins came in for Boatman. So that'll be a pickup of about four yards on first down. Gets down to the 34-yard line. Dragons completed a pass over the middle for their touchdown, which was stripped out of the hands of the receiver, but it bounced right up into one of the other receivers who won the foot race down the field for the score. And that made it seven to six. The extra point attempt was blocked, and that's where we are now. Kennett up seven to six, but driving with the football. Second and six for the Indians. Ellis out of the shotgun. Boatman to his left gives it to Daniel. Lots of white jerseys out there, and Daniel's going to lose maybe a yard on the play. Back to the 35. Good penetration by the Dragons over on the right side. Is not a whole lot there for Daniel Boatman. It'll be third and seven, and it appears we have a timeout on the field, official timeout, so we'll take a one-minute break. Be back with more. This is Kennett Indian Football. Harris Pharmacy is locally owned and proud to be a part of the Kennett community. Their caring staff works hard to help their customers achieve better health with their MedSync and refill reminder programs. Harris Pharmacy offers free delivery in the city limits and also has a drive through for your convenience. Stop in today for all your prescription and over-the-counter medication needs. Harris Pharmacy, 1224 First Street in Kennett, proud to support area youth and wishing the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. 
The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer is proud to be a part of the Kennett and surrounding communities that they serve. They play an active part in the community and support local schools and youth activities. This trusted team of attorneys delivers years of experience providing legal advice and services from general, civil, appellate, and personal injury to criminal, family, probate, and real estate law, plus trust, estates, and more. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer, located at 308 First Street in Kennett. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as 3.39 to go here in the first quarter. 7-6, to six, Kennett with a one-point lead and facing a third down and about seven to go from the 35 of St. Genevieve. Out of the shotgun is Ellis. Bodie takes it, hands it off to Boatman. Daniel has some running room at the 30, at the 25, darts back inside, and now they will drag him down, but that'll move the chains. The Kennett Indian first down. Daniel Boatman showing his ability on this warm evening at Mets Cherry Stadium. Jordan Jarrett over on the sideline for the Indians. Is, it has been pretty much Boatman on this drive. Also Hayden Higgins with a carry on this drive. As running onto the field, Tanner Duncan now tied in for the Indians. First and 10, Kennett from the 23-yard line of St. Genevieve. Kennett up 7-6. to six. For the first and 10, Ellis takes the snap, and Bodie's going to keep it. Steps inside and gets down to about the 30, or about the 20, correction. That's going to be a pickup of about three yards on the play. You have to give St. Genevieve some credit here. Defensively, they have came out and playing well, and now they're going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. Back with more in one minute. A few days ago, we had a customer come by the Kent dealership looking for a new truck. I had a really good visit with Phil and our salesman. Phil had his Army T-shirt and Army cap on, retired military. We're so proud of our troops, our active and veterans like Phil. Phil left in his new truck. We all enjoyed the visit. Best price, best service. Glenn Sane, God bless our troops. At NEA Baptist, we look at healthcare a little differently. Being an integrated system, our campus features a world-class hospital, a host of specialty clinics, and a full-service cancer center all in one location. Plus, with 11 family practice and urgent care locations, we're always close by. Integrated healthcare means you have access to your medical record with one simple app, which allows you to message your physician anytime, anyplace. Experience integrated healthcare at the only integrated health system in the region, NEA Baptist. We got back to action quickly. Ellis rolled to the right, hit Tanner Duncan over the right side for a gain of about 11. That'll move the chains. Kennett football at the 21-yard line. On the move here as we have three minutes to go in this first quarter. Good to have you along tonight. Exciting football game from Metz Cherry Stadium. Other scores coming in. that We will update you on most of those at halftime this evening. But as we have an opportunity, we'll update you. Now a tight formation. Ellis takes the snap and hands it to Daniel Boatman. Gets around the corner, tries to cut inside, spins back, and then is hit down at about the line of scrimmage. A lot of running, but very little gain that time for Daniel Boatman. As St. Genevieve really strung that one out well along the sideline. Second and ten for the Indians as Ellis... Over to the sideline, Coach Wyatt with instructions and the play call. Indians again rotate players in and out. Jake Stewart, one of those coming in this time for the Kennett Indians. Full back in the formation, second and 10 Kennett. The football at the 12 yard line. Kennett breaks the huddle, two receivers left, one to the right. Ellis out of the shotgun, motion man. Left to right, now they'll hand it off. The back is Jarrett, cuts inside, breaks the tackle, cuts into the end zone, touchdown, Jordan Jarrett. Jarrett into the end zone, and the Indians go up in this one 13 to six. Jordan Jarrett got a little breather, and it paid off that time. A good strong run by the junior for Kennett. That's the touchdown from 
12 yards out. Jordan Jarrett's second of this opening quarter. Again, get it set up in that swinging gate formation. Now they will set up in the traditional set. A minute 48 to go as Camden Pritchett here in this first quarter will try to make it a 14 to 6 lead. A good snap, a good hold, and the kick is up. And Camden is good again. 14 to 6, Kennett leads with 148 to go first quarter. We kick it off when we return. This is Kennett Indian football. McDonald's, they're passionate about their food. From making healthier additions to their Happy Meals to serving up fresh beef quarter pounder burgers that are cooked when you order. They're always finding ways to show their commitment to their customers and their food. Your local Kennet McDonald's has been serving the Kennet community for 29 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennet Indians a safe and successful football season. Go Indians! Touchdown! The key to winning a football game is executing your game plan. Baker Wellman Brown Insurance can help with a plan to tackle your insurance needs. We can assist you with any need, including life, health, Medicare, home and auto insurance. We also help farmers and businesses score with affordable insurance plans. Call us today at 800-455-4677 for a winning game plan. Go Indians! Kennett leads this one 14 to 6, a minute 48 to go. First quarter, Camden Pritchett will kick things off to the Dragons. It's a good ball game here in the first quarter. Lots of action. Good to have you along. Lots of people watching our live stream on the Wolf Facebook page and also on KBOARadio.com and listening in on the radio, getting a lot of comments coming in. A high kick. Going to be taken at about the 15-yard line by the Dragons up over the center of the field. They'll break a tackle, a good seam as they get out to the 40. So good starting field position. As with the tackle that time, Camden Pritchett brought down the return man as Aiden Boyer with the return for the Dragons. Aiden also has been at that quarterback position for the Dragons most of the evening. Caden Fly also out there as Boyer and Fly stand in the backfield, they're going to have a no huddle, and Boyer's going to be the quarterback as the play call comes on. Indians lead this one over the Dragons, 14-6, to six, a minute 40 to go first quarter. Receiver to the near side, two to the far side for the Dragons. Under center is Boyer. Motion man left to right, and he'll pitch it out to the tailback. And cutting up is Fly. Has good yardage on first down across the 45. Out. Just over the 45, it appears. We'll see exactly where they spot it down. Now well, they're actually going to put it down at about the 47-yard line. So call him a gain of seven. It'll be second and a short three coming up as the Dragons near midfield. Out of the shotgun now, Boyer, the quarterback, looks over to the sideline. Caden Fly, the sophomore running back, directly behind him. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Now a man in motion, left to right, sets up on the right side of that offensive line. A high snap, and they'll hand it off, and nothing there. A loss on the play back to the 45. Good penetration by the Kennett Indians. And again, well, Travion Thompson, one of those defensively in there for the Indians to snuff that one out. A high snap really blew that play up from the start. And also in there for the Kennett Indians, Tanner Pierce defensively. Good job by Tanner. And that brings up a third and five from the 45-yard line of St. Genevieve. They'll have to snap it one more time in this opening quarter. 20 seconds on the game clock, 14 seconds on the play clock. As they look to throw across the right side, pass is incomplete. Off the hands of the receiver, pretty good pass out there, but spring tamper, I believe. He's just a freshman, and it went off his fingertips, and that'll bring up fourth down and five for the Dragons. So with the incomplete pass, they will have to punt it away. Or at least they show they will punt it away. Brett Beezer, the senior, will do the punting duties. Nobody back deep for the Indians as they do not feel like the Dragons are going to actually punt this one away. Nobody back deep as Kennett's still up defensively. 
Beezer gets it, and he does punt it away. A high, booming kick, and this one's going to land. This time it takes a Kennett bounce and will be downed at about the 17-yard line. So the Indians' offense will come back out on the field. 6.6 .6 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Hey, we've got a good one. Be sure to tell all your family and friends, turn us on. Either the radio at KBOA AM, 1540, FM 105.5, or streaming on the Wolf Facebook page or at kboaradio.com. Lots of folks watching in this evening. Lots of comments coming in. We're getting lots of scores coming in that we will tell you about when we get a break in the action. Kennett would like to build a little cushion here in this one. Too close for comfort so far. 14-6. to six. Indians with a lead. They beat the Dragons twice last year. And Coach Wyatt mentioned in his coaches show that airs on Friday mornings on KBOA AM and 98.7 FM that sometimes it's difficult when you lose twice to a team. Whistles will blow as Bodie Ellis was going to run this one and not sure what the call is going to be in its procedure. So it'll be a first and 15 for the Indians. Someone moved a little early. Jordan Jarrett is out there at running back for the Indians as he looks to the sideline. Of course, Bodie Ellis, the quarterback. So that will back the Indians up first and 15. Puts the football all the way back to the 10-yard line. You have to be careful deep in your own territory. Close ball game like this. It's first and 15 is not real difficult to overcome on a first down situation and the Indians the final play barring a penalty are an incomplete pass of the first quarter a little inside handoff to Jordan Jarrett Jordan with good positive yardage gets out near the 20 yard line so he picks up the five yards lost on the procedure plus one and it'll be a second nine when we start the second quarter Kennett leads 14 to 6 we'll be back with that second quarter in one minute when your child is sick you want a pediatrician you can trust Dr. Andrew Beach has been serving the Kennett and surrounding communities for over 20 years. Dr. Beach provides preventative, chronic, and acute medical care for children from birth to 21 years of age. He is now accepting new pediatric patients at his Kennett, Campbell, and Haytai locations. Call today to schedule an appointment for your child with Dr. Beach at 888-0001. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Beach. And, and we, we support our Kennett Indian. When it comes to taking out a loan, you need a team you can trust, a local community bank you can depend on. At First State Community Bank, we are that team. We're local people making local lending decisions. Whether it's buying a home or even a new car, you can rest easy knowing all decisions are made in the communities we live and work in. Speak to our expert lenders at your local branch or visit fscb.com today to get started. First State Community Bank, success starts here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, Bank NMLS number 412605. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as we start the second quarter. Kennett leading this one 14 to 6. Darrell Wilcoxon playing music downtown. A lot going on. Car show this weekend in Kennett. Hope you can go out and make that. The proceeds going to the sheltered workshop and also to the Humane Society. A good cause and a big event. And I know a lot of those folks listening in this evening and watching on their phones on the Facebook Live. Lots of comments coming in and probably have several folks up in the St. Genevieve area also watching tonight. Good ball game, 14 to 6. Indians with a lead and facing a second down. And it looks like about eight yards to go from the 18-yard line as we start this second quarter. Ellis out of the shotgun. Receiver in motion left to right. Now, let Bodie keep it straight ahead. Here's Bodie on the loose at the 30, at the 40, out to the 45 before the Kennett senior quarterback is tripped up. Move the chains. That's a Kennett Indian. First down. Boy, we see Bodie's great speed. He has some strength and just muscled that ball out and got it through a gap in the line of scrimmage. Little hand tackles do not bring down Bodie Ellis and uses good speed to break away in a nice game. First and 10 Indians out at the 45-yard line. Play call coming on from the sideline as Coach Wyatt makes a substitution as Duncan comes in to the lineup for Kennett as Owen Ross comes out. Bodie Ellis now huddles his team up, 13 seconds of the play clock. 
as they break the huddle and up to the line of scrimmage. Pritchett on the left side at the receiver with Riley Spencer in the formation and a handoff goes to the tailback Boatman. Boatman across midfield. Daniel gets out to about the 48-yard line. The flag flew in late, so we'll see what the flag is all about right where the tackle was made to Daniel. And it looks like we may have a face mask, so we may have yardage added on, and it is a face mask at the end of that run. That will give the Indians another first down. There we see Daniel Boatman. So important, these early season games and the temperature warm that you can rotate these players in and out. And when you got talented running backs like Daniel Boatman and you got, of course, Jordan Jarrett, who carries most of the load, but now Boatman, when you look at the total carries so far on the season, not that, not that far apart as it's good to share the load, get a breather. It's Jarrett, who started on defense, they rotate him out from that linebacker position to get him a little rest during the ball games. 44-yard line, line of scrimmage of the Dragons. And it will shift. Now the tight end to the left side. Three men to the right side of the line. They'll fake the pitch and look downfield. Bodie fires down the field, has a man down there, and just overthrows his receiver, Riley Spencer, the sophomore. Riley had a step on the defender, but the pass just a little bit overthrown. As Bodie aired that one out, that one went about 55 yards down the field, but just about a yard too long. That brings up second and 10. Sometimes it's important to try that deep shot just to keep that defensive front from crowding the line of scrimmage. Can it primarily tonight have been a run first offense as they normally are, but that time took a shot downfield. Boatman comes out. Jarrett comes back in. Duncan out from his tight end position. And Owen Ross in at a receiver position. Two to the left, one to the right. And they'll hand it to Jarrett trying to get around the left side and penetration and a loss back to near the 50-yard line. And a flag comes in late. And we may have a celebration penalty on the Dragons. So that may cost them as we have some players uh, having conversations out there. I think the Dragons may have celebrated a little bit, and then the flag flew in. So we'll see if this could be an offsetting penalty, or is it just going one way? Unsportsmanlike conduct against Kennett. Unsportsmanlike conduct against St. Genevieve. So that will be an offsetting penalty after the loss on the play. Now we have maybe a personal foul also, along with the unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. So we'll get this one. This, this one may be tacked on in the favor of Kennett. Here's the unsportsmanlike. The unsport. Oh, they, uh, they ejected a player for the Dragons. One of the Dragons players was ejected from the football game. So that's what that was all about. On the play, it was a loss for the Indians. And currently, the ball is sitting right at midfield. Indians would have to get it to the 35 to move the chains, so the down should be second down, I believe, and 15. But I may have the down wrong. They may not have flipped it over on the sideline. It could be third down. Coach Wyatt over here will get an explanation from the officials. The officials really play a critical role. They in a competitive ball game like this one. They have to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand and the players keep playing clean and the celebrations after the fact. They can't allow those. Now they move the football back to the line of scrimmage, and that'll be the 44. So the penalty's offset, so I believe it is still second down. The markers on the far side say second down, so I'm going to go with that. Honestly, with all the excitement, I kind of lost track. I think Clint Eastwood said that in the movie. <laughs> I think Clint was talking about something totally different, but it applies here. Second and 10 for the Indians from the 44-yard line of the Dragons. Ellis out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff, and Bodie keeps it straight ahead, ducks his head, picks up the first down. All the way to the 34. That time you see Bodie would not be denied. Ducked the shoulder pads and powered forward. 
when all else fails, give it to your senior quarterback. And that will move the chains. Kennett with the football just inside the 35. Kennett would like to have these. Of course, they like to score, and they don't mind scoring quickly, but when you run these long scoring drives, it really takes the air out of the sails of the defensive team, and St. Genevieve so far tonight has played very well defensively. Spread out to the left, Riley Spencer, one of the receivers. The rest of the Indians bunched up. Now Riley motions into the formation on the left side. They'll fake the pitch, now hand it off inside as Jarrett darts outside. Has some room at the 30, dives inside the 25, and that'll move the chains are very close to moving the chains. A pickup of almost 10 yards on the play. It will depend on the spot to see if they move the chains. It'll be second and about one. So a pickup of nine on the play by Jordan Jarrett. About the length of the football is what the Indians need here. Jake Stewart comes out. End of the ball game, Owen Ross for the Indians. And the play call to the quarterback, Bodie Ellis. His team huddled up, breaks the huddle. With 14 seconds on the play clock, 9.24, the game clock running here in the second quarter. 14-6, Kennett, and approaching the red zone here. Ellis takes the snap, and Bodie will keep it again. Follows his block, has some running room, gets around the corner. He'll have the first down, and then he's met by about three Dragons that will drive him back. They're going to say forward progress to about the 18. So it'll be first and 10 Indians from the 18-yard line. That'll move the change, keep the clock running on this drive. Good to have you along this evening. Be sure to say thank you to all of our sponsors who make our broadcast possible, both on the radio and on our live Internet stream. Stewart comes in at fullback. Duncan comes out from his tight end position. Indians with a first and ten. At the 20 yard line is where they say the line of scrimmage. Handed over the right side to Boatman. Daniel has a gain of five, call it 10, a first down inside the 10. And it'll be first and goal Indians from about the seven. Well, Daniel Boatman, he comes into the ball game and uses his speed, moves the chains, and another Indian first down. So it'll be first and goal. Back into the ball game, Tanner Duncan for the Indians. Stewart will stay on at the fullback position. Now Coach Wyatt motions Daniel Boatman to come out of the football game. And the Indians break the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers left, one to the right. Ellis out of the shotgun. Ellis takes the snap. Bodie looks to keep, drives forward. Going to be stood up after a gain of maybe one on the play. Now they're going to say he might have got at the six-yard line, that may be about it. So, short gain on the play. Good defensive stop that time by St. Genevieve. Just inside of eight minutes to play, second quarter. Indians lead 14-6, to six, but would like a little insurance here. Daniel Boatman comes in. At running back for the Indians. Indians break the huddle. 13 seconds on the play clock. Two receivers left, one to the right. Ellis out of the shotgun. Motion man left to right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Bodie's going to run it. Bodie has some daylight and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Bodie Ellis. And the Indians go up 20 to 6. Bodie's been effective running that football all night long, and Indians went back to him. They send that man in motion, and then o Bodie Ellis right up the middle. Camden Pritchett will try to tack on the extra point for the Indians. Riley Spencer, the sophomore, will hold. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is good. The Indians go up 21-6, 7.24 to go. First half, back with more in one minute. Is your home, autos, farm, business, or commercial property adequately protected from possible losses such as fire, lightning, windstorm, or hail? Disasters can strike us at any time. Let T.R. Baker Insurance Agency in Kennett give you the peace of mind you're looking for. We at T.R. Baker Insurance Agency support our Kennett Indians 100%. 
Go Indians! T.R. Baker Agency, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennett. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, a family furniture tradition. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, one of the largest selections of quality furniture in the southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, and western Tennessee areas. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, more service and less price. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri, a family furniture tradition. Terry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as the Indians with a touchdown, 7.24 to go second quarter. And the extra point from Camden Pritchett to lead it 21-6 and will kick off to the Dragons. St. Genevieve looking for their first win of the season, but they played a couple of very tough football teams, Festus in week one, and last year's state champion, Valley Catholic, last week in the battle of Crosstown Rivals up in St. Genevieve. Kennett leading 21-6, would like to get a stop here. The Dragons would love to put one in the end zone, make things a little tighter as they go to the locker room. High deep kick taken at the 10. They'll pitch it forward and try to run it over the right side. Kennett misses a tackle on the right side. Now they'll wrap him up and bring him down at about the 30. Zach Boyer with a return for the Dragons. And it looks like a flag is down over there on the far side. We'll check the call. So many times you have a hold, but that was over there where they were trying to bring down the carrier. But it is a hold, and that will back up the Dragons. Most of the time, penalties on kickoffs end up being a holding penalty. And that's the case there. They will step off. After a nice return out to the 30, as they will mark it back from the point of the foul. And that puts the football back, looks like at about the 17-yard line. That's where the Dragons will take over, first and 10 on this drive. Have a lot of scores to tell you about at half of this one. Halftime activities here at Mets Cherry Stadium. If you're watching our video stream, we'll... Put the camera on those and make sure you see all the halftime entertainment while we tell you about the first half. It's good to have you along this evening. Dragons offense back out there. Boy, you're the quarterback. Caden Fly is the running back for the Dragons. Two receivers to the near side. One of those goes in motion and sets up on the left side of that offensive line. They will hand it off to Fly, and he is wrapped up for no gain at the line of scrimmage. Good job by the Indians. The score for the Dragons coming on their first play from the line of scrimmage. A big pass play, complete over the middle. Indians were able to strip the ball out of the hands of the receiver, but it bounced right up into one of the Dragons' hands, and he won the foot race into the end zone. That's where we are. Three Kennett touchdowns, 21-6. 15 seconds on the play clock, and now the Dragons are ready. Quarterback this time looks to keep. He has company in the backfield, and they're going to bring him down for a loss on the play. Good job by the Indians getting penetration. That defensive front, the linebackers really crowding the line of scrimmage as we try to see who was in there. Well, one of those in there for the Indians. I did see Hayden Higgins darting inside and wrapping up the ball carrier. And he had some help from some of his teammates. It's third down now for the Dragons. And looks like about 13 to move the chains. Out of the shotgun, I believe, is Boyer, the quarterback. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. We'll see if they air it out deep in their own territory here. And they look to... Set up and hit from behind as the pass is released and it's underthrown. So that's going to bring up fourth down. That pressure from behind really paid off that time for the Indians as they brought the heat from the corner, trying to see who came in there. And on the little blitz, that ball was tipped and or almost tipped. Might have been hit his arm from behind. So 
the Dragons will punt it away from just about their goal line. Daniel Boatman sets up in Dragon territory just across midfield, awaiting this punt. Snap, pressure by Kennett, and the punter has to scramble, and Kennett will bring him down. And it's going to be great field position for the Indians. They have been getting penetration all night long as they got the penetration through the line of scrimmage. Trying to see the first man through there was Jordan Jarrett with his speed. Kind of overran the play. And then the Indians were there to finish him off. It looks like coming up off the bottom of the pack, Brooks Niggett was in there defensively. And also it looked like Latravion Thompson for the Indians. Big defensive play that time for Kennett. And Kennett takes over with great field position. And it's going to be a first and goal from the seven for the Indians. Bodie Ellis comes on. 15 seconds on the play clock as the Indians huddle up. Now break the huddle. 5.36 to go here in the first half. Two receivers near side. One to the far side. Pritchett in motion. Right to left, and they'll hand it off to the back. Jarrett, Jarrett darts inside, darts into the end zone. Is he in? Yes, touchdown, Indians. Jarrett goes in with 5.30 to go here in the second quarter. And there we see Jordan Jarrett, that time just darting a couple of defenders as he ran through the middle of that line and into the end zone. And that makes it 27-6. to six. Kennett fans can breathe a little easier now with that score. Evan Parker comes in as he goes in to block along that line as Camden Pritchett will try to boot it through the uprights. Good snap, good hold, pressure, but Pritchett gets it off and through the uprights and good. 28-6, Kennett leads 5.30 to go second quarter. You're listening to and watching Kennett Indian football. Doesn't a Sonic Bacon Cheeseburger sound delicious? With a 100% pure beef patty, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, topped off with crispy bacon? Yes, please. Pair it with Sonic's new toasted s'more shake. It starts with Sonic's 100% real vanilla ice cream, hand mixed with decadent chocolate chunks and golden graham cracker crumbs, topped with delightfully fluffy marshmallow and even more graham cracker crumbs. Try one today at Sonic, America's drive-in. Don't forget happy hour, two to four daily. All drinks are half price. Bring the family out for a night of fun at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. The Kennett Bowling Lanes has new owners and has been completely remodeled, and that includes their menu. Grab a lane for just $5 per game or $25 an hour, shoe rental included, and try their delicious pizza, burgers, wings, desserts, and more. Glow Bowling is every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to closing. Family reunion, birthday party, or corporate event? Ask about renting all 12 lanes. It's fun for everyone at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. Harry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium. David Lynn, the PA announcer, also in the booth. As, uh, we try to uh, wipe up the perspiration. It's, it's a little warm in the booth tonight, but uh, fans outside for the Indians enjoying it after the latest touchdown. This kickoff taken at the 10. Good coverage downfield by the Indians, but they'll break out of a tackle. Good return by St. Genevieve when it looked like they were really going to be backed up deep, and they will get it out near the 40-yard line. Good job on the return that time. It's Zach Boyer with a kickoff return for the Dragons. Kennett missed a couple of tackles, and they gave up some yardage that time to the Dragons. First and 10, St. Genevieve, 5'18 to play here in the second quarter. Good to have you along tonight, 28-6. Kennett scored first on the opening kickoff of the ball game. On the first play from the line of scrimmage, the Dragons answered with a touchdown of their own. And since then, it's been all Kennett. 21 unanswered points. But now the Dragons will try to change that as they will hand it off. Good penetration by Kennett, but they missed the tackle. And there's going to be a first down across midfield and more before the running back steps out of bounds. And there we see Zach Boyer's speed over on the right side. Fly had been in there running back, but Boyer also gets the carry often, and he is a talented athlete over there as he shows his speed. They'll mark the football just inside the 45-yard line of Kennett. He was knocked out of bounds on the play, so the clock is stopped. Dragons with two timeouts remaining in the half. Kennett with one. Get, 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 
Up to the line of scrimmage, the Dragons out of the shotgun. Motion man, they'll fake the handoff to him, hand it to the tailback. And what a tackle in the backfield by the Indians. Is Boy, darting in there that time. Good penetration, and that was Tanner Duncan. Good job, Tanner, from his linebacker position as he got the penetration, and he got the running back about the time the running back got the football. Caden Fly, the sophomore, says, mm, somebody blocked that guy. A loss of just about five on the play puts it just inside the midfield strike. Second and 15 for the Dragons. Kennett shows blitz, and the quarterback looks to throw. They'll pressure as he rolls right and throws incomplete. Brings up third and 15 for St. Genevieve. The Dragons lost so many players off last year's football team. I think 15, 16 seniors. Kenny Week, the, co the coach for this ball club, was very good football coach, but he has a young squad, and they're going to get better week by week. Now a third and 15, and I believe we have a timeout, so we'll take a break, 4.28 to go in the half, 28-6. Kennett back in one minute. Hello, my name is John McMullen, one of the four lawyers at the firm Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. Attorneys Mark Peltz, Richard Edgington, Shannon Morgan, and I have accumulated 117 years of experience in personal injury, insurance claims, real estate, bankruptcy, criminal defense, and more. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. We invite you to consider litigation experience. Let Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan be your law firm. You have one goal, providing the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. Find yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. Terry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium. The timeout taken with 4.28 to go here in the first half. Kennett leads 28-6, and it will be a third down and 15 coming up for the Dragons. Football right at midfield. Good to have you along. Lots of folks watching our live stream. Be sure to share our live stream as uh, let your family and friends know people your friends on Facebook, let them know that uh, we have the broadcast going on this evening. It'll be a lot of fun to have them watch this Kennett football team and maybe catch the Kennett Indian football fever. I know a lot of people watch during the week. Of course, a lot of people listen in to our radio broadcast that we've done for years and years, and thanks to all of our sponsors. Now the Dragons are ready. Third and 15, a high snap. Quarterback has it, throws it down the left side. One-on-one -on -one coverage in this one. Receiver went inside, and the pass went to the outside. Zach Boyer, the intended receiver, and it falls incomplete. Nearest defender out there for the Indians was Zytravion Williams, the senior. And the Dragons do not appear to be punting this one away on fourth and 15 from midfield, trailing 28-6. Kennett does put a man back deep, expecting a punt, but so far I don't see the Dragons in punt formation. Still 25 seconds on the play clock, so they'll determine whether they're going to punt this football away. Or and right now it appears they're going to go for it on fourth and 15 from midfield. Back deep is Daniel Boatman, and now Kennett may have to burn a timeout, and they will as... They had a man deep. They don't want to give up the big play, so now the defensive squad will talk things over. Coach Webster's ball club comes over to the sideline defensively to talk to the Indians. Some good games going on tonight. We're going to tell you all the scores that are coming in as we've had a bunch of them come in this evening. We'll tell you about all of those coming up at the half. Hayti and Scott City, and what I thought may be the game of the week in southeast Missouri, and uh, one team rolling over the other one in that one. <laughs> we'll tell you about it at the half. Is that a, a score tease for the halftime show? Maybe so. We have 
radio broadcast of four of the teams around the area. And running those from our studios here in Kennett, each one of those ball games. So Mark Goddard running our game on the radio, thanks to Mark. Thanks to our video folks upstairs as Caleb Alley running our camera again tonight. Thanks to Caleb coming over, a senior over at Carruthersville. Met him last year as I did the Carruthersville broadcast, and he was in a class where they filmed the games and also the announcements each morning and activities that the school had going on. And uh, with his experience, he's helping us with the broadcast. Tad Jones producing our video portion of the broadcast. Ryan McDaniel running the Portageville Bulldogs over on KMIS. I mentioned Mark Goddard running her broadcast on KMIS and Monty Lyons in the KCRV studio running both the AM and FM game. Only Monty can run two ball games at one time. He has a headset on one ear and listening to the monitor in the other ear. Now the Dragons are going for it on fourth down, or they appear to anyway. They are under center. Indians show blitz. They'll pitch it out to the back as he throws it down the field. Has a man down there, but it's incomplete. Right through the hands of the receiver, and that was just, just about a big play for the Dragons. A good throw down the field by the Dragons and went right through the hands of the receiver as he laid out for it but just couldn't come up with it. Clayton Squires, I believe, was that intended receiver down the far side. And the Kennett offense will come over and take over on downs. Kennett leads 28-6, 4.15 to play on the half. Plenty of time for the Indians to tack on some more here. Momentum, the momentum, early momentum was to Kennett, but after the long touchdown by the Dragons, they were playing inspired defense and now Kennett starting to pull away a bit. 28-6, the lead. Ellis takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws out in the flat, and it's complete to Jake Stewart as Jake gets down to about the 48-yard line. Pick up a two yards on the play. Good job defensively by the Dragons over on the left side that time. As Caden Fly in on the tackle along with Clayton Squires over on the corner. Second and eight for the Indians. Clock is running. 3.47 to go here in the half. Indians break the huddle. Under center this time, the senior quarterback, Bodie Ellis, and he drops the snap. Now pitches it out to Jordan Jarrett, and Jordan has company, but somehow picks up three yards on the play. See, this ran over a couple of white jerseys and gets down to the 45. Positive yardage out of a play that could have been a disaster for the Indians. It'll be third and five now for Kennett. 312 to go in the half. We have some uh, heavy duty insect repellent that is going to be used during the halftime show here in the booth as it's starting. They are starting to get intense. Here is when we have to turn on the lights in the booth to see it, uh, it seems like the uh, mosquitoes uh, like, like our broadcast booth. Two receivers to the left side, and under center, Bodie Ellis. Backs her in the eye, and the tailback gets the carry. That is Jarrett. Jarrett had the first down. Now he still has it as he cuts left. Now back to the inside at the, about the 33-yard line. Jarrett had it, then went back across the line of scrimmage, and that will be a first down for the Indians. Still 2.35 to go in the half. Plenty of time to go here in this first half of football. Lots of folks viewing into our live stream this evening. Last week we had over 7,000 views of our live stream. On week one, the away game at Malden, we had over 10,000 views. So lots of people enjoying our live stream. We appreciate all the comments, appreciate all the sponsors, and, of course, all of those that for years and years listen to our radio broadcast. In motion at Spencer, right to left. Now Ellis takes the snap, fakes the pitch, now sets up, looks downfield, throws downfield, across the middle, crossing route, too tall, incomplete, intended for Camden Pritchett. Boy, a nice design play, but the pass just a little bit too tall for Pritchett. That will stop the clock with 2.07 to play in the half. It'll be second and 10 for the Indians from the 33-yard line. 
Ross comes on for the Indians. Tanner Duncan comes over to the sideline, and Bodie Ellis on with the play call. Kennett would like to tack one more on here as the second quarter winds down 28 to 6. Indian band setting up in the north end zone. They will perform here at the half. Handoff this time goes to Boatman. Daniel follows a blocker, gets hit from behind, and carries the pile forward to about the 26, 27-yard line. That will bring up third down for the Indians, but Kennett no doubt in four-down territory. This is going to be a third, and we're going to call it four for Kennett. Third and four, and the clock running. A minute 45 to play in the half. Duncan back in as coming to the near side is Owen Ross for Kennett. Spencer and Pritchett spread out to the left side of the formation. Duncan on the right side of the line, the tight end. Jake Stewart, the fullback. Bodie takes a snap and tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Got his feet tangled up there and held on to the football. When that happens, sometimes you're always fearful that you may turn the ball over and Kennett takes the time out here. We're going we're gonna to keep it here for this timeout. It's a minute 13 to go in the half. Kennett has one timeout remaining. Only a minute 13 remaining in the half. and It will be a fourth down for Kennett and they will have to pick up a good seven yards to move the chains. It is at the Dragon 30-yard line. Lots of scores coming in as I teased one of those scores a little earlier. And some games good, some games uh, getting out of hand. Some of the games that I thought may not be as good, a little closer than I expected, and we'll tell you about those at the half. Darrell Wilcoxon is on musical assignment downtown tonight. Car show in town this weekend. Is You can make it out. The proceeds go to a good cause, great causes. Kennett Humane Society and the Sheltered Workshop. You get the proceeds from the car show and concert downtown on the square tonight. I bet you could even go down after the football game if you like and enjoy some of that. Yeah, the Indians back out on the field with a minute 13 to play in the half. One timeout apiece remaining for both of these ball clubs. Kennett needs seven yards to move the chains. Ellis out of the shotgun. Boatman is to his right. Ellis has some pressure. A hold probably will bring this one back. The pass was complete. And I think it's short of the line to gain. They're going to say a hold against Kennett. So they may back this one up. But I think if I were the Dragons, I don't know if it's an option, but I think I would decline this one and take the football. And now the whistles blow, and maybe that's what the Dragons are going to do. As it is, they'd mark it way back. But now they say, hold it a minute. Why don't you just give us the football down here around the 24-yard line? Now the penalties decline. There's all of that sorted out. And Kenneth turns it over on downs. A minute, five seconds remaining in the half. And the Dragons, with one timeout remaining, will try to move it down the field. The football at the... See where they spot it down. Looks like the 24-yard line is where the Dragons will have it. They keep rotating their quarterbacks in and out, so you have to always pay attention for the Dragons and see who may be in there. Caden Fly is the running back. I see that. Two receivers near side, two to the far side. Quarterback is Boyer. So he goes under center. Motion man right to left, gets the carry. Tries to turn it inside. Now cuts across the outside. Has a little yardage and going to have a gain of about nine yards, it appears. And may have been knocked out of bounds. Motion man, I believe, was Zach Boyer that time. And a good gain on the play. Pickup of nine. It'll be second and one. And he did get out of bounds. So the game clock is stopped. Line of scrimmage, 34-yard line of Valley Catholic. Not Valley Catholic, I'm sorry, St. Genevieve. Same town, different school. Motion man right to left, and they will 
Try to play a little trickaroo up on the line of scrimmage as they faked the pitch and one of the linemen had the football and Kennett did not fall for that one. It's a loss back to the 30. Couldn't tell which one of the linemen had it up there, but they tried to act like they were faking the pitch to the motion man. So it looks like Clayton Squires might have been the ball carrier that time. Third down and five coming up for the Dragons from the 30. Clock is running as we're down to 20 seconds remaining in the half. Out of the shotgun. Dragons, bad snap. Now they'll throw it over the middle. Man is there, but it's incomplete. Overthrown. Man was open. That is Brett Beezer. He's 6'4", 175 pounder, so a big target running right over the middle of the field. And with 10 seconds remaining in the half, it will be fourth down and five for St. Genevieve. Do they risk running one more play? And if they come up short, possibly giving Kennett the football, they are going to take a timeout and talk things over. So we are once again going to leave it right here. We don't want to miss the final 10 seconds of the activities. Let me tell you, as I'm looking through my cheat sheet here, this is what we're going to have at the half. The Kennett High School Band, the Flags, and the Majorettes will perform at the halftime tonight. And the band set up just beyond the north end zone, so we will have video photos of that at the half. We'll update all the scores from around the area. We'll recap the scoring here in the first half. Lots of folks viewing in tonight. We appreciate everyone viewing in and also listening in on the radio. Thanks to all of those sponsors who make a broadcast possible. As we're going to have every one of the Kennett Indian football games this year, internet, uh, <laughs> if the internet cooperates, we will have every one with a live stream. Next week, we go on the road to Carothersville. We think uh, that will not be an issue. After that, we'll, we'll see week by week. We have road trips at Carothersville. We have a road trip to East Prairie, and we have a road trip to Dexter this season, the other games here at Metz Cherry until we get to district play, and we hope all of those will be here at Metz Cherry Stadium. A lot depends right here on these regular season matchups. Here we go, fourth and five, and a little pooch kick is nobody back for the Indians, and that was probably a smart play as it's going to roll down. Clock is still rolling, and they stop it at one minute and or one second, 1.7 seconds remaining. 1.7 seconds, and... We'll see if Coach Wyatt wants to air one out or uh, take a knee and take it to the locker room. Kennett leading 28-6. to six. St. Genevieve thought about that. It looked like they may go for it, but with, Tenet, with Kennett having still one timeout remaining, if you don't get it, it's going to be great field position for the Indians. And the Dragons still in this ballgame. They're trailing 28-6, to six, but it's been a competitive first half. So far, that time punting it away, probably the wise decision. Now we'll see if Coach Wyatt is just going to get the kneel down formation, but it appears they're going to they're going to take a shot here. Receiver right, receiver left, and now Bodie is going to take the snap, and we're going to the locker room. Kennett leads this one 28 to six. We'll take a two-minute break and be back with our halftime from Metz Cherry Stadium. This is Kennett Indian football. Harris Pharmacy is locally owned and proud to be a part of the Kennett community. Their caring staff works hard to help their customers achieve better health with their MedSync and refill reminder programs. Harris Pharmacy offers free delivery in the city limits and also has a drive through for your convenience. Stop in today for all your prescription and over-the-counter medication needs. Harris Pharmacy, 1224 First Street in Kennett, proud to support area youth and wishing the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer is proud to be a part of the Kennett and surrounding communities that they serve. They play an active part in the community and support local schools and youth activities. This trusted team of attorneys delivers years of experience, providing legal advice and services from general, civil, appellate, and personal injury to criminal, family, probate, and real estate law, plus trust, estates, and more. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer, located at 308 First Street in Kennett. A few days ago, we had a customer come by the Kent dealership looking for a new truck. I had a really good visit with Phil and our salesman. 
Phil had his Army t-shirt and Army cap on, retired military. We're so proud of our troops, our active and veterans like Phil. Phil left in his new truck. We all enjoyed the visit. Best price, best service. Glenn Sane, God bless our troops. At NEA Baptist, we look at healthcare a little differently. Being an integrated system, our campus features a world-class hospital, a host of specialty clinics, and a full-service cancer center all in one location. Plus, with 11 family practice and urgent care locations, we're always close by. Integrated healthcare means you have access to your medical record with one simple app, which allows you to message your physician anytime, anyplace. Experience integrated healthcare at the only integrated health system in the region, NEA Baptist. Terry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as the Kennett High School Band will perform here at the half with Kennett leading 28 to 6. We hope you can uh, listen in to the band. We'll try to turn them up just a bit as we tell you our scoring in the first half of this one is Jordan Jarrett with the first score, a lateral on the opening kickoff. Bodie Ellis took it along the left sideline, lateraled across the field to Jordan Jarrett and he outran all the defenders down the right sideline into the end zone. Extra point attempt by Pritchett was good. Seven to nothing Indians on the first play from the line of scrimmage. It was the dragon striking back as a pass play over the middle was complete. The ball was stripped out of the hands, but Buat picked it up, went right into his hands like a basketball bouncing up in his hands. He went into the end zone. Extra point attempt was blocked. Seven to six or score there. Kennett gets back on the board with a minute 48 to go in the first quarter. Jordan Jarrett in from 12 yards out for his second touchdown of the evening, 14 to six after Camden Pritchett's extra point attempt was good. In the second quarter, Bodie Ellis got in on the act as the quarterback keeper from eight yards out makes Kennett 21-6 after Pritchett's extra point attempt. That score in the second quarter coming with 7.24 to go in the second quarter. Then Jordan Jarrett with his third touchdown of the evening. Seven yards out was 5.34 to play and a half. And uh, extra point again, Camden Pritchett was good, 28 to six. And that's our halftime score. Can an Indian marching band performing here at the half? We are gonna listen in just a bit to the band and uh, then we will continue with our halftime show as the band flag, uh, and the Majorettes perform here at halftime at Mets Cherry Stadium. Let's listen in.
The Kennet Indian Band performing here at half along with the Majorettes and Flags. Great halftime performance. We'll take a break. We have a lot of scores coming in. We're going to tell you about those as our halftime show continues from Mets Cherry Stadium. This is Kennet Indian Football. At McDonald's, they're passionate about their food. From making healthier additions to their Happy Meals to serving up fresh beef quarter pounder burgers that are cooked when you order. They're always finding ways to show their commitment to their customers and their food. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for 29 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful football season. Go Indians! Touchdown! The key to winning a football game is executing your game plan. Baker Wellman Brown Insurance can help with a plan to tackle your insurance needs. We can assist you with any need, including life, health, Medicare, home and auto insurance. We also help farmers and businesses score with affordable insurance plans. Call us today at 800-455-4677 for a winning game plan. Go Indians! When your child is sick, you want a pediatrician you can trust. Dr. Andrew Beach has been serving the Kennett and surrounding communities for over 20 years. Dr. Beach provides preventative, chronic, and acute medical care for children from birth to 21 years of age. He is now accepting new pediatric patients at his Kennett, Campbell, and Haytai locations. Call today to schedule an appointment for your child with Dr. Beach at 888-0001. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Beach. And, and we, we support our Kennett Indian. When it comes to taking out a loan, you need a team you can trust, a local community bank you can depend on. At First State Community Bank, we are that team. We're local people making local lending decisions. Whether it's buying a home or even a new car, you can rest easy knowing all decisions are made in the communities we live and work in. Speak to our expert lenders at your local branch or visit fscb.com today to get started. First State Community Bank, success starts here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, Bank NMLS number 412605. Perry Jones back at the half as Daryl Wilcoxon uh, performing uh, music down on the square tonight. Uh, big car show in town. We invite everybody to enjoy those festivities over the weekend. All the proceeds going to the Humane Society and the Sheltered Workshop. Good event going on in Kennett and a good football game going on here at Mets Cherry as the Indians lead at the half 28-6. to six. I mentioned some other scores from around the way. The games that we're covering tonight. Let me give you the latest on those games. Uh, Portageville struggling at East Prairie. East Prairie, a future opponent of the Indians. And East Prairie leading Portageville at the half, 28 to nothing. Here's the uh, the score that uh, kind of surprised me. Crothersville 20, Donovan 7. But uh, it wasn't uh, long ago before Kennett or Crothersville added one more score in that one. It was just 14 to 7 until a late score put Crothersville up 20 to 7 over Donovan as Donovan looking for their first win of the season. The Crothersville Tigers one and one on the year so far. And then Haytai traveling to Scott City. That was the ball game that I thought might be the uh, game of the week around Southeast Missouri. And Haytai opened up a big early lead in that ball game. And uh, I'm not sure, Monty, kind of correct me. I had an earlier score, Haytai 30 to seven over Scott City, and then Haytai 36 to seven. And uh, then it looked like Haytai probably 36 to 13. I believe that's currently the score, 36, 13. As there was a, uh, it says 26, 13, but I think Haytai had 36. So 36, 13, Haytai as the Haytai Indians trying to make a statement there as Scott City, the Rams lost a lot of their starters from last year. A lot of seniors graduating from that district championship team that the Rams had. And, of course, Haytai every year a force in high school football and another good team this year as Haytai currently 2-0 and on the season, trying to go to 3-0 and on the road against Scott City tonight. So some good games underway around the area. Middle school Majorettes performing here, doing a great job in front of this big crowd at Mets Cherry Stadium. Great halftime show as 
Matt Chetley was in the booth just a little bit earlier, and he said it's about uh, 20 degrees cooler outside of our booth. It's a warm night in the booth here at Mets Cherry Stadium, but we're having some fun in a good ball game. 28-6, our halftime score. We're going to take another two-minute halftime break and be back with more as you're watching and listening to Kennett Indian Football. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, a family furniture tradition. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, one of the largest selections of quality furniture in the southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, and western Tennessee areas. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, more service and less price. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri, a family furniture tradition. Doesn't a Sonic Bacon Cheeseburger sound delicious? With a 100% pure beef patty, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, topped off with crispy bacon? Yes, please. Pair it with Sonic's new Toasted S'more Shake. It starts with Sonic's 100% real vanilla ice cream, hand-mixed with decadent chocolate chunks and golden graham cracker crumbs, topped with delightfully fluffy marshmallow and even more graham cracker crumbs. Try one today at Sonic, America's Drive-In. Don't forget happy hour, two to four daily. All drinks are half price. Bring the family out for a night of fun at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. The Kennett Bowling Lanes has new owners and has been completely remodeled, and that includes their menu. Grab a lane for just $5 per game or $25 an hour, shoe rental included, and try their delicious pizza, burgers, wings, desserts, and more. Glow Bowling is every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to closing. Family reunion, birthday party, or corporate event? Ask about renting all 12 lanes. It's fun for everyone at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. Hello, my name is John McMullen, one of the four lawyers at the firm Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. Attorneys Mark Peltz, Richard Edgington, Shannon Morgan, and I have accumulated 117 years of experience in personal injury, insurance claims, real estate, bankruptcy, criminal defense, and more. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. We invite you to consider litigation experience. Let Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan be your law firm. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as the flag corps from the middle school performing here at the half. Kennett leads 28 to 6 over the St. Genevieve Dragons as coming up next week we go on the road to Carothersville. Hopke Field now. Hopke Field has a limited seating. And of course if anyone uh, is making their first trip over there, bleachers only on one side of the field at Hopke Field. So it could be an issue as uh, I believe their concessions and also their seating is limited over there and practicing uh, social distancing for sure at uh, Hopke Field. So be sure to uh, to get over there, reserve your tickets. I believe it, it, and the tickets go to families of players. They get the first choices. That's both Carothersville players and also probably for the visitors as well. So remember, if you can't make it over in person to cheer on your favorite team next week we will have our live stream from Carothersville as the Tigers host the Kennett Indians next Friday night that score from Haytai Mark Manley with a play-by-play -play just got back to us and it's 36 to 13 in favor of Haytai over Scott City so Haytai in control of that ball game right now once again East Prairie over Portageville 34 to nothing and uh, that's a couple of the scores coming in from around the area. Carothersville, at last report, was leading Donovan 20 to 7. 20 to 7, Carothersville leading Donovan. We'll take our final two minute halftime break and we'll come back, get set for the third quarter kickoff here from Metch Cherry Stadium. Kennett leads St. Genevieve 28 to 6. This is Kennett Indian Football. At Harvest, you have one goal. Finding the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. Find yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. Harris Pharmacy is locally owned and proud to be a part of the Kennett community. Their caring staff works hard to help their customers achieve better health with their MedSync and Refill Reminder programs. 
Harris Pharmacy offers free delivery in the city limits and also has a drive through for your convenience. Stop in today for all your prescription and over-the-counter medication needs. Harris Pharmacy, 1224 First Street in Kennett, proud to support area youth and wishing the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer is proud to be a part of the Kennett and surrounding communities that they serve. They play an active part in the community and support local schools and youth activities. This trusted team of attorneys delivers years of experience providing legal advice and services from general, civil, appellate, and personal injury to criminal, family, probate, and real estate law, plus trust, estates, and more. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer, located at 308 First Street in Kennett. A few days ago, we had a customer come by the Kent dealership looking for a new truck. I had a really good visit with Phil and our salesman. Phil had his Army t-shirt and Army cap on, retired military. We're so proud of our troops, our active and veterans like Phil. Phil left in his new truck. We all enjoyed the visit. Best price, best service. Glenn Sane, God bless our troops. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium. The Indians over to the sideline as we are about set to start action here in the third quarter. The Indians will be kicking the ball off to St. Genevieve and Kennett leads 28 to six. Reds will lead the Cardinals three to one in the top of the fifth inning tonight in St. Louis in baseball action. That ball game over on our 106.5 KTMO The Wolf regular radio broadcast and of course we're on the wolf facebook page with our live stream tonight we're on the radio at kboa am 1540 and kboa fm 105.5 and we also have a live stream on our kboa radio.com website a video stream and the audio stream and we want to remind you if you want to view in tomorrow if you have uh, maybe uh, players in the family that might have came out and played tonight you can uh, watch on Facebook, you can watch our uh, broadcast tomorrow, but a lot of viewers tonight. As, uh, this has probably been our most viewed evening of Kennett Indian football, and it's been a competitive first half of football as Kennett jumped out to the 7-0 lead, but St. Genevieve answered with a long score on their first play from the line of scrimmage. Extra point attempt was blocked, but then it's been 21 unanswered for the Indians, and they've opened up this 28-6 lead. For the Dragons, they would love to get the football here in the third quarter and drive it down the field and put points on the board and officially declare this a football game and try to come back in the second half. For the Indians, you want to get a three and out and get the football and tack on as the first two ball games of the season was uh, they were over by half. And uh, that's not the case here as the Dragons have came out and they fought hard. Great football tradition. They've lost a lot of players to graduation from last year's team. As more scores coming in as East Prairie now over Portageville, 40 to nothing. 40 to nothing in that ball game. As we're about set to get underway here in the third quarter. Once again, we can't thank our sponsors enough for both our radio and video stream live broadcast every week of Kennett Indian football and these players and coaches certainly appreciate uh, having fans to cheer them on at the games. So you can come out and cheer, you can watch the game later, you can bring your radio and listen to us here. Just have a great evening of high school football. Camden Pritchett will kick things off for the Indians. Had some stats here, Camden going into the night was 11 of 12 on extra point attempts and he's perfect on the evening as he is four for four on the extra point attempts tonight impressive offensive stats for the Indians coming into this ball game Jordan Jarrett only had 14 carries coming into this one but he's averaging 12 yards a carry Bodie Ellis nine almost 10 yards a carry he's had 11 carries coming into this one this kick is taken. They'll hand it off back at the 10-yard line up over the right side. Indians will spread them out toward the sideline and they'll get out just shy of the 30-yard line. That's where the Dragons will take over offensively. St. Genevieve lost to Festus 41-13 in week one and then to Valley Catholic 42-7 last week. 
this ball club after losing a lot of seniors from last year's squad. They are going to look better and better throughout the season. They can surprise some people, and they've put up a fight here in the first half of this one. On first and 10, the Dragons from their own 29-yard line look to be changing the play. Still lots of time on the play clock. It's the first play from the line of scrimmage here in the second half. Squires, receiver to the near side. Motion man right to left, and the quarterback looks to keep it, cuts back to his right, and gains a yard on the play before Tanner Duncan wraps him up and brings him down. It'll be a second down and nine coming up. From the 30-yard line for the St. Genevieve Dragons. Good job staying at home that time, the Indians. They look to throw out to the near side. This pass is too tall and incomplete, intended for Clayton Squires, the junior. Boyer's pass was too tall out there on the coverage for the Indians. And good coverage was Brooks Nigget. Nigget was out there and was right on his defender. Probably wise that that one was overthrown. Now a third and nine from the Dragons 30 yard line. They have two receivers to the right, one to the near side. Back in the backfield to the left of the quarterback. The quarterback is Aiden Boyer. He's just a sophomore and he's getting a lot of early season experience. He takes the snap, looks, throws over the middle. The pass is intercepted by the Indians at the 44 yard line. Penalty flags on the play, so we'll see what the flags are all about. As it is, Kennett came up with the interception. And trying to see who. <laughs> so it will be Kennett football. JT Williams with that interception is now it's official, and JT gets a high five as he trots off the field. JT went down to his knees and scooped that one up, and there's that early turnover. Now, Kennett would like to make a statement here to start the second half, leading 28 to 6, 11 11 to go here in the third quarter in the line of scrimmage, the 43 yard line of St. Genevieve. Bodie Ellis, the senior quarterback, will run this offense. Receiver out to the left, receiver to the right. Stewart, the fullback, to the left of Bodie Ellis, and the tailback is Jordan Jarrett, and Bodie looks to throw. Little screen pass out in the flat, complete. Down the sideline, at the 30, at the 20, inside the 10 is Tanner Duncan as they hit the tight end. Perfect pass, Ellis, and that should be a first and goal Indians. As they get, looks like just around the 10-yard line. Let's see if it's a first and goal. No, they're going to set it maybe just outside of the 10. So the Indians could pick up a first down inside the one. Boy, nice play call that time as Indians had that one mapped out at the half. They had seen something in the first half and they had that one in their back pocket and it was a good time to pull that one out in the uh, Play executed perfectly. Bodie Ellis to Tanner Duncan. Now two receivers to the left side. That's Pritchett. And also out there is Riley Spencer. Receiver to the near side is Owen Ross. Ellis out of the shotgun. He has Jordan Jarrett behind him as the tailback. Pritchett comes in motion left to right. And the handoff goes to Jarrett. Jordan darting inside, still on his feet. Muscles forward. The pile goes forward, but the whistle blows. And they're gonna say his forward progress was stopped at about the two. It was stopped at about the two and then the pile started moving toward the goal line, but the play was whistled dead. And it will be second down and goal for the Indians. And they're gonna spot it back. It looks like at about the three, it is second and goal. So the football was touching the 10 yard line. It was a full 10 yards for them to get it into the end zone. Jarrett will come out of the football game after that strong run. Hopefully he's okay, but he's taking the helmet off and maybe shaking up just a little bit after that last run. Daniel Boatman the back. Jake Stewart the fullback. And Boatman gets the carry, goes behind Stewart's block, and he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Indians. 
Daniel Boatman that time gets it into the end zone and the Indians extend their lead 34 to six. Jake Stewart, the senior fullback, what a block over on the left side. Daniel Boatman, he's only a sophomore, but he knows uh, who to follow <laughs> up front. And uh, that time Daniel followed the block and scooted into the end zone. Camden Pritchett will now tack on the extra point or attempt to tack on the extra point. Well, you got to give credit to the hold. Riley Spencer and Kiwan Hopkins doing a, such a good job on that snap as those are critical also to these extra points. Another good snap, another good hold, and the kick is up and good. So Kennett goes up 35-6, to 10-01 to go in the third quarter. Back in one minute, this is Kennett Indian football. At NEA Baptist, we look at healthcare a little differently. Being an integrated system, our campus features a world-class hospital, a host of specialty clinics, and a full-service cancer center all in one location. Plus, with 11 family practice and urgent care locations, we're always close by. Integrated healthcare means you have access to your medical record with one simple app, which allows you to message your physician anytime, anyplace. Experience integrated healthcare at the only integrated health system in the region, NEA Baptist. At McDonald's, they're passionate about their food. From making healthier additions to their Happy Meals to serving up fresh beef quarter pounder burgers that are cooked when you order. They're always finding ways to show their commitment to their customers and their food. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for 29 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful football season. Go Indians! Terry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as the Indians will kick it away. One of the Indian players appears to be having cramps over on the sideline. It's on a hot, humid night here at Mets Cherry. That's going to be common. But we have a lot of folks watching our live stream tonight. We appreciate everyone tuning in. Be sure to share and like what you see if you like what you see. Pass it on to your family and friends, and you can come back and watch it all week long. It'll be on the Wolf Facebook page and also on kboaradio.com. Pritchett will kick things off as we're still looking over on the sideline as cramps being experienced by one of those Kennett players. And if you've ever had one of those, that's one of the most uncomfortable feeling. And then it's always in the back of your head. Here's a line drive kick, going to roll inside the 20 and going to roll out of bounds. So the Dragons will probably elect to take this one after the mark off, after the kick went out of bounds. They try to keep the players hydrated, but that hydration has to occur all week long. It's not so much about uh, being in shape, even though that's a part of it, but being hydrated prevents those cramps as the football is at the 25 yard line. Now they're gonna mark off and bring it back out after they walk back to the 35 and that's where the Dragons will take over after the kick went out of bounds. Camden hasn't done that very often this year. That may be the first one that I've seen him kick out of bounds. He has been very good at the kickoffs as the Dragons will try to answer. Kennett got a stop and got a score. And that's what they wanted to do after the Dragons took the opening kick here in the third quarter. Kennett now leading 35 to six. Quarterback is Aiden Boyer. He's just a sophomore. Good looking quarterback, good size. As this young St. Genevieve team, Boyer looks to throw. Throws over the left side, little pass out in the flat. Kennett had it defended, but they missed the tackle and up over the 40, the receiver, Zach Boyer, the junior. Good move by Boyers. He escaped three defenders when he caught that football. And as it is, it's a gain of about six yards on the play. Second and four coming up from the 41-yard line of St. Genevieve. Two receivers to the near side for the Dragons. Or two to the far side. A back to the left of the quarterback, Aiden Boyer. And the back will get the carry. Going to his right, finds a block and gonna pick up about two yards and that'll bring up third down and two. As I believe Boyer with a carry. Another Indian a little slow getting up after making that tackle. We've seen some of the Indians suffering cramps and 
That's what this is as well. You see the cramps usually after they come out of the locker room in the third quarter. That's when players start to cramp up, and another one of the Indians have cramped up over on the far side. The player on the sideline that is cramped up is Owen Ross. Owen's had a good game, but he's laying over on the sideline about the 30-yard line after they tried to stretch him out. But another Indian out on the field is, boy, he's experiencing those cramps, and now he's uh, giving the uh, stiff-legged walk off the field and a good round of applause to the Kennett Indian. And well, that's a rough feeling, but as... He's walking over to the sideline, a much uh, better feeling after those cramps start working their way out, and that's a big part of this defense. That's Tanner Duncan, one of the linebackers, coming over to the near side. It's Tanner. Now off the field, and it's a third and a short two for the Dragons from the 44. The quarterback will give a little inside handoff, and that'll be a first down. Dragons move the chains out to the 47. 9-10 to go here in the third quarter. 35-6, our score, Kennett with a lead. Donovan's pulled closer to Carothersville, now 20-13. Good ball game over in Donovan tonight. Haytai leads Scott City 36-13. 35-6, our score here, Kennett with a lead over St. Genevieve. First and 10 Dragons as a direct snap. They'll pitch to the tailback. Penetration and a loss on the play back to the 45-yard line. Loss of about three on the play as the Indians were all over that play. So they couldn't get it going. It'll be second down, and we're going to say 13 yards to go. Tompkins, one of those in on that play to blow it up. Trying to see the linebacker on the far side of the field also breaking that one up, getting good penetration as Brooks Niggett was in on that play as well. Brooks has had a very good ball game defensively. Now the quarterback rolls left, has some space, decides to throw across the middle and incomplete. He had two receivers in the same part of the field, threw behind the receiver, and J.T. Williams was defending, and it falls incomplete. Third down and 13 coming up for the Dragons. Quarterback Boyer rolled to his left, and he had some room, thought he might just tuck it and run, but had a couple of receivers cutting across the field. One of those probably not in the area he should have been because they were right next to each other. And that makes it difficult for a quarterback to hit one of those receivers because usually you have defenders also in the area. Dragons need about 13, and they'll throw a quick pass over on the far side, and that one's incomplete. They had success early throwing the football, but after the opening couple of drives, that has been snuffed out by this Kennett defense, and it's fourth down and 13 for the Dragons. They appear to be set to punt it away. Boatman comes on to punt it away, and streaking off the field is... J.T. Williams for the Indians as Daniel Boatman sets up at about his own 25-yard line. Seen a lot of pressure from the Indians on these punts. This time they don't bring pressure, and it's a high, booming punt. Daniel's going to get out of the way of this one. It bounces straight up, and now a little bit of a roll in favor of the Dragons, and it will roll inside the 30, and that's where the Kennett offense will take over once again. 7.58 to go third quarter. Kennett leads 35-6. to six. If you just tuned in tonight, we mentioned in a pregame that Aiden Tidd is not playing in tonight's game. He's a two-way starter. The junior plays on that defensive line, and the offensive line is... Hayden Higgins and Trey Walls have stepped into his place. Hayden has mono and will be out four to six weeks. As Higgins and Walls have been rotating in and out. On the offensive line, Evan Parker has been in there doing a lot of the duties. Evan, just a sophomore. As we have a timeout on the field, we'll take one here. With 7.58 to go third quarter. 35-6 Kennett back in one minute. Touchdown! The key to winning a football game is executing your game plan. 
Baker Wellman Brown Insurance can help with a plan to tackle your insurance needs. We can assist you with any need, including life, health, Medicare, home and auto insurance. We also help farmers and businesses score with affordable insurance plans. Call us today at 800-455-4677 for a winning game plan. Go Indians! When your child is sick, you want a pediatrician you can trust. Dr. Andrew Beach has been serving the Kennett and surrounding communities for over 20 years. Dr. Beach provides preventative, chronic, and acute medical care for children from birth to 21 years of age. He is now accepting new pediatric patients at his Kennett, Campbell, and Haytai locations. Call today to schedule an appointment for your child with Dr. Beach at 888-0001. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Beach. And, and we, we support our Kennett Indians. Perry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium. First and 10, Kennett. And the handoff goes to Jarrett. Jarrett over the left side. Another big hole. Jarrett breaks through. Still on his feet across midfield inside the 45-yard line. They're going to spot him at about the 45. But Jordan Jarrett, another big run for these Kennett Indians. That'll move the chains. Put the football in Dragon territory. And another first down for the Indians been so important tonight for those running backs to rotate in and out as we've seen Jordan Jarrett also out there Daniel Boatman getting some carries also in there for a carry Hayden Higgins earlier in the ball game at running back Kennett will send two receivers to the near side one to the far side Ellis will be out of the shotgun and still at running back is Jordan Jarrett just to the right of Bodie Ellis Dragon show blitz and Bodie is going to keep it Running over the right side, Jarrett with a big block. Bodie runs over a couple of players and gets down to the 36. Gain of about nine yards, Bodie Ellis, and it'll be second and one for Kennett. That time you see the running back, Jordan Jarrett, with a nice block. and His quarterback just followed the block and then lowered his shoulder and ran over a couple of defenders. Bodie gets the play call, trots back out, and Kennett will huddle up quickly. Seven minutes, clock running here in the third quarter, and Kennett leading 35-6. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. This time Ellis will go under center. Jordan Jarrett, the tailback. Now Tanner Duncan from the tight end position goes in motion. Now drifts back to the left, and they'll throw out to Tanner. Pass complete. He breaks the first tackle, has the first down, and more. Turns the corner. It's a foot race down the sideline. Duncan fights and finally pushed out of bounds. That'll be another Kennett Indian first down to the junior tight end, Tanner Duncan. Well, Tanner suffered from those cramps earlier, and finally the Dragons knock him out of bounds, but that'll be a big gain for the Indians. Looks like they're going to spot the football just right at the 10-yard line, just inside the 10. So call it a first and goal Indians. 6.32, the clock stopped here after Tanner Duncan was knocked out of bounds. Bodie Ellis gets the play, trots it onto the field, and Indians break the huddle. 14 seconds on the play clock. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Jarrett remains in there at running back, and Bodie Ellis out of the shotgun. Sends Jake Stewart in motion, and here's Bodie keeping over the right side. Cuts toward the pylon, has one man to beat, and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Indian. <laughs> Bodie Ellis into the end zone. That's his second touchdown of the evening, and that adds to the Kennett lead here. 6.28 to go, third quarter. Bodie, good smart running. He follows that blocker out there and gets into the end zone. Tamden Pritchett will once again try to tack on the extra point. Kiwan Hopkins will snap it, and Riley Spencer will do the hold. Another good snap. The hold is down, and the kick is up. And good. Pritchett again through the uprights. And Kennett leads this one 42 to 6, 628 to go. Third quarter, back with more in one minute. When it comes to taking out a loan, you need a team you can trust, a local community bank you can depend on. At First State Community Bank, we are that team. We're local people making local lending decisions. Whether it's buying a home or even a new car, you can rest easy knowing all decisions are made in the communities we live and work in. 
Speak to our expert lenders at your local branch or visit fscb.com today to get started. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, Bank NMLS number 412605. Is your home, autos, farm, business, or commercial property adequately protected from possible losses such as fire, lightning, windstorm, or hail? Disasters can strike us at any time. Let T.R. Baker Insurance Agency in Kennett give you the peace of mind you're looking for. We at T.R. Baker Insurance Agency support our Kennett Indians 100%. Go Indians! T.R. Baker Agency, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennett. Harry Jones back at Metz Cherry Stadium. Some other scores coming in. Hayti pulls away from Scott City, now leading 42 to 21. 42 21. Carothersville Donovan last report 20 to 13. The Carothersville Tigers leading the Donovan Dons in that one. Here it's Kennett leading at St. Genevieve 42 to 6. 6:28 to go third quarter. Good to have you all along tonight, watching Kennett Indian football. Pritchett again will kick things off. His last kick went out of bounds, and I would expect this one uh, not to do that. Camden's been very good with the kickoffs this season. He's been excellent with the extra point attempts as in this ball game. Perfect six of six. And on the season, Camden was 11 for 12, so... 17 of 18 on the season on the PATs. A high kick down the center of the field. Taken at the 20 by the Dragons. They'll try it over the right side. And Kennett will hustle down and a game tackle at about the 27. A good kickoff coverage that time by the Indians. And the Dragon offense will come back out on the field. 6.13 to go. And now that the Indians have opened up a 42 to 6 lead, the clock will run. Unless the Dragons can score, and that will force the clock to stop once again. Dragons, they are they're not quitting. I will say that Donovan the same way last week, but the Dragons, after Kennett got the opening kickoff for a score, they got a score of their own. Now a timeout on the field as I think Kennett will talk things over. We'll take one as well. 545 to go third quarter back in one minute. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, a family furniture tradition. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, one of the largest selections of quality furniture in the southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, and western Tennessee areas. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, more service and less price. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri, a family furniture tradition. Doesn't a Sonic Bacon Cheeseburger sound delicious? With a 100% pure beef patty, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, topped off with crispy bacon? Yes, please. Pair it with Sonic's new toasted s'more shake. It starts with Sonic's 100% real vanilla ice cream, hand-mixed with decadent chocolate chunks and golden graham cracker crumbs, topped with delightfully fluffy marshmallow and even more graham cracker crumbs. Try one today at Sonic, America's drive-in. Don't forget happy hour, two to four daily. All drinks are half price. Harry Jones back at Metz Cherry Stadium. A score coming in. Donovan has now taken the lead over Carothersville 21 20. 21 20. Donovan leads in that one. As here, St. Genevieve trails Kennett 42 6. As now a flag flies in, someone may have moved up front, and this will be a five yard mark off against the Dragons. Next week, we go on the road to Hopke Field to take on the Carothersville Tigers. Carothersville in a battle tonight at Donovan. Once again, they do have restricted seating at Carothersville and Hopke Field. Bleachers only on the one side of the field, even though they are big bleachers, but they will have restricted seating. Little reverse handoff across the middle and not much there for the Dragons. Kennett played that one well and no gain on the play. It'll be second and 15 for St. Genevieve. Caden Ply, the running back. 
Tried to get over the right side, but just not much there. Can it? Played that one well. I believe Jake Stewart was in on the tackle as coming off defensively for Kennett was Latravion Thompson. LT looks like he may have an issue with his left leg, maybe a cramp as they work on him over on the sidelines. We're seeing several players cramping up here in this third quarter. Thompson, a big part of that Kennett defensive line. Single receiver right and left. Receiver to the right, motions to the left. And the quarterback under center, second and 15. So pitch to the tailback, trying the right side, and Kennett again there defensively. Good job, pursuit on the corner. J.T. Williams was over there, Tanner Duncan over there, and Camden Pritchett over there for Kennett. Again, Tanner Duncan trying to stretch out those calves as he's having some cramping issues, still trying to stretch out over there after being in on that tackle. Third down, and we're going to call it 12 coming up for St. Genevieve from the 27-yard line of the Dragons. Two receivers right, one to the left. Quarterback Aiden Boyer shifts one of the receivers over to the left side now in a slot to the left. Under center, he'll roll to the right, and the Indians are there, and they're going to get the sack back inside the 20. Penetration that time as good penetration that time is Josh Hanahan. Big red gets it there and gets the sack. Big cheer from the fans here. The markoff will be back at the 18, but now may have a flag against the Indians. Didn't see what the penalty was. Now the official will motion. Inadvertent face mask was the penalty, so they'll mark it out to the 24-yard line. St. Genevieve will have the football. Third down now. Third down and about 14 yards to go. 2.39, the clock running here in the third quarter. Play call coming on from the sideline. Now five seconds on the play clock. Still, the Dragons not set, and they may have had to take a timeout, and they did as they ran out of time to get that play off. We'll take a break as well. 42-6, Kennett back in one minute. Bring the family out for a night of fun at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. The Kennett Bowling Lanes has new owners and has been completely remodeled, and that includes their menu. Grab a lane for just $5 per game or $25 an hour, shoe rental included, and try their delicious pizza, burgers, wings, desserts, and more. Glow Bowling is every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to closing. Family reunion, birthday party, or corporate event? Ask about renting all 12 lanes. It's fun for everyone at the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. Hello, my name is John McMullen, one of the four lawyers at the firm Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. Attorneys Mark Peltz, Richard Edgington, Shannon Morgan, and I have accumulated 117 years of experience in personal injury, insurance claims, real estate, bankruptcy, criminal defense, and more. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. We invite you to consider litigation experience. Let Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan be your law firm. Perry Jones back at Mitch Cherry Stadium, 225 to go third quarter. Kennett leads 42 to 6. Brothersville is retaking the lead over Donovan, 26-21. That's a good ball game. Over in Donovan tonight. Our broadcast of that one on the radio at 105.1 KCRV FM with Paul Glass and streaming on the FM side over at KCRVradio.com. Here, it's a third down and 14 coming up for the Dragons out of the shotgun. They'll hand it off to the back. He's hit in the backfield. Now pursuit by Kennett, and they'll bring him down. Boy, good pursuit by that Indian defensive front. And looks like the Travion Thompson, one of the first in there from his defensive line position. But he 
got the penetration, and then his teammates helped wrap up the ball carrier, and the Dragons appear to be punting it away from deep in their own territory. They will punt it away from about their own five-yard line. Daniel Boatman stands at midfield for the Indians. No pressure from the Indians. A line drive kick is a beauty. Backs Boatman up. This one will bounce. Daniel will now pick it up. Look for a little seam as he dances back to his right. Now moves up the field and brought down at about the 38-yard line. Beautiful punt that time by the punter for St. Genevieve, and that will back the Indians up a minute 25, and the clock is running here in the third quarter with Kennett leading this one 42-6. to six. Cramps have been an issue for some of the Kennett Indians in this ball game. As you would probably expect on a night like tonight, some of the starters coming out of the ball game here for the Indians is Coming in, Hayden Higgins. Looks like he may be the running back now as Boatman and Jared have had a, the majority of the carries. And it is Higgins in there at running back. As Bodie Ellis under center hands it to Higgins. Higgins bobbled the snap, just a little, the handoff just a little bit. And he regains control and is wrapped up just about the line of scrimmage. And they give him a little bit of a loss on the play. Looks like maybe a yard on the play, second and 11 for the Indians at the 38-yard line. Jarrett, Jordan Jarrett comes back in for the Indians. Also coming in, Brooks Niggett for the Indians. As Coach Wyatt continues to rotate his players in and out, and that will be the last play of the third quarter. 42-6, to six, Kennett with a lead as we go to the fourth quarter. We'll be back in one minute. This is Kennett Indian Football. At Harvest, you have one goal. Finding the perfect flow of grain from the field to the bend. Case IH Axial Flow Combines are engineered for matched capacity to deliver proven grain savings so you can keep efficiency flowing smoothly. Find yours with the Case IH Axial Flow. Harris Pharmacy is locally owned and proud to be a part of the Kennett community. Their caring staff works hard to help their customers achieve better health with their MedSync and refill reminder programs. Harris Pharmacy offers free delivery in the city limits and also has a drive through for your convenience. Stop in today for all your prescription and over-the-counter medication needs. Harris Pharmacy, 1224 First Street in Kennett, proud to support area youth and wishing the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. Harry Jones back at Mitch Cherry Stadium as we go to the fourth quarter, 42 to six, our score. And Kennett facing a second down and 11. The football at the 37 yard line of the Indians. As the Indians will run Ellis over on the left side, gets across the 40, out to the 45, and now hurdles a man in midfield. And that will move the chains. Again, a good carry by Kennett's quarterback, Bodie Ellis. The Dragons have played tough the entire ball game. They, they are not giving up, folks, but the Dragons score came on the first play from scrimmage for St. Genevieve. A pass play over the middle. The receiver was wrapped up and the ball was stripped out of his hands, but it bounced right back into the hands of one of the receivers for St. Genevieve. And he raced into the end zone, and that cut the lead to one, but it's been all Kennett from that point. Tight formation for the Indians. They'll pitch it to Jordan Jarrett. Jordan, a little running room, and gets down to the 40. Thought he might step out of bounds, but he spun back to the right and uh, got about eight yards on the play. Clock is running inside of 11 minutes to go. They're going to put the football at the 39-yard line, and... That's going to bring up second down and about a yard to go for the Indians. Indians will take their time, 20 seconds on the play clock, and the game clock is running here. Ten and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 42-6 Indians. This is the first game the starters have remained in there, but this is uh, 
You always felt like St. Genevieve was a play or two away from being right back into this contest. So a little inside handoff. Here's Jake Stewart rumbling down the field. Drags a man by the shirt tail. Jake is on the loose. Jake is in the, uh, is he in? They're going to mark him down at about the one. Maybe the two. <laughs> Jake Stewart, the senior. What a run. One of the defenders had his shirt tail and then a diving stop by St. Genevieve as Jack Farlow dove for his heels and brought him down near the goal line. So Kennett knocking on the door once again, trying to get a, another score here in the fourth quarter. Bodie Ellis comes on with a play call. Wouldn't be surprised if the Indians get the score in. This might be it for the, the majority of the starters on offense in this ball game. Clock running in the fourth quarter. Ellis will be out of the shotgun. And he gives the handoff straight ahead. And not much running room there that time for the Indians. As that was Jake Stewart in the backfield. They were trying to get Jake into the end zone. That good carry from his fullback position. And this time from the tailback slot. Jake was wrapped up, so Jordan Jarrett comes back on. He will be in at running back for the Indians. Bodie Ellis, the quarterback. 8.45 to go here in the fourth quarter from Kennett. Ellis goes under center. It's second and goal from about the two. They'll hand it. Over the right side, and Jordan Jarrett was wrapped up. He might have even lost a half a yard or so on the play. That'll bring up third down and goal for the Indians. As I mentioned, St. Genevieve not giving up. They are still in there fighting hard, and that time the Dragons, Alex Fleeman with the tackle. Good play inside defensively. Ellis comes on with a play call. Indians with a third and goal from the four. Thanks to all the comments coming in this evening. We have had a ton of viewers on our both our Facebook page and our website at kboaradio.com. Two receivers near side, one to the far side. Ellis hands it off to the running back, racing to the near side, cutting around the corner. Daniel Boatman into the end zone, touchdown. Boatman goes in for the score with 7.29 to go in the fourth quarter. So Daniel's second score of the ball game. As he had the first score in the second half. And he adds another one to it here now. You have to remember Daniel Boatman is only a sophomore. As Pritchett will again will attempt the extra point. It's been perfect tonight and only missed one on the season. Another good snap, another good hold. This extra point attempt is also good. 49 to 6, our score here in the fourth quarter. We'll kick it off to the Dragons when we return in one minute. This is Kennett Indian Football. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer is proud to be a part of the Kennett and surrounding communities that they serve. They play an active part in the community and support local schools and youth activities. This trusted team of attorneys delivers years of experience, providing legal advice and services from general, civil, appellate, and personal injury to criminal, family, probate, and real estate law, plus trust, estates, and more. The law firm of Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Shearer, located at 308 First Street in Kennett. A few days ago, we had a customer come by the Kent dealership looking for a new truck. I had a really good visit with Phil and our salesman. Phil had his Army t-shirt and Army cap on, retired military. We're so proud of our troops, our active and veterans like Phil. Phil left in his new truck. We all enjoyed the visit. Best price, best service. Glenn Sane, and God bless our troops. And it kicks it away after the score. Dupree in there. Coach Wyatt described him as a thunder leg, and he kicks it deep and returned out to about the 32-yard line by the Dragons. 
Clayton Squires, the junior, with a return, and the Dragons offense back out there as we see some of the starters or most of the starters out of the ball game defensively for the Indians. A few of the starters, Riley Spencer, a sophomore, will be in there at safety, but other than that, a lot of new faces out there defensively for the Indians. Whistles blow, and the Indians may take a timeout, and they will. So we'll take one as well. 49-6, or score, back in one minute. At NEA Baptist, we look at healthcare a little differently. Being an integrated system, our campus features a world-class hospital, a host of specialty clinics, and a full-service cancer center all in one location. Plus, with 11 family practice and urgent care locations, we're always close by. Integrated healthcare means you have access to your medical record with one simple app, which allows you to message your physician anytime, any place. Experience integrated healthcare at the only integrated health system in the region, NEA Baptist. At McDonald's, they're passionate about their food. From making healthier additions to their Happy Meals to serving up fresh beef quarter pounder burgers that are cooked when you order. They're always finding ways to show their commitment to their customers and their food. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for 29 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful football season. Go Indians! Back to action after the timeout. The Dragons get it. A high snap, but running up over the right side is Thomas O'Brien in there, quarterback. O'Brien, a junior. Gets a nice gain on first down, as I mentioned. Second team defense out there primarily now for the Kennett Indians. Dragons would love to put another score on the board. 428 in the clock running here in the fourth quarter. Kennett up 49 to 6. Second and one for the Dragons. The snap and a handoff. And that's going to be a first down and more. Streaking down the left side across midfield. Down to about the 41-yard line, the ball carrier. Jack Farlow that time with the carry. Jack is just a freshman. So much like the Indians, the Dragons have also put in some of their Second team players giving them some experience here. Anthony Nash, senior out there, now at running back for the Dragons. So we're down to 345 to play in the ball game. This time the snap and a lot of penetration. A flag flies in. The Indians will bring him down for no gain on the play. We'll see what the penalty is all about. That time. Thomas O'Brien tried to keep it himself, getting a lot of scores coming in. Hayti really blowing out Scott City now, 48-27. Our last score on that Carothersville Donovan contest. Carothersville on last report leading 26 to 21. That penalty against the Indians, so that will be a mark off and give a first down to the Dragons. as that was a personal foul penalty. So a major penalty will put the football down at about the 25 yard line. St. Genevieve would love to get it into the end zone just for pride's sake here as they're gonna step this one off and get it all the way down to Looks like about the 12-yard line, 13-yard line. Two receivers near side, two to the far side. Another high snap for the Dragons. They'll hand it off to their tailback. Not much there, just right up the middle. And that'll bring up second down. Again, we thank everyone tuning into our live video stream tonight on the Wolf Facebook page, also on KBOARadio.com. It has been... An amazing following this evening as more and more people are learning about our live video stream of each and every Kennett Indian football game this season and of course always coverage on KBOA radio as we have for years and years. 
Running back now moves to the right of O'Brien, the quarterback. Again, two receivers right, two to the left. Motion man right to left, and the quarterback hands it to the motion man. Not much room there. So he's brought down just about at the line of scrimmage, which is the 10-yard line. And that will bring up third down and seven for the Dragons. Football at the 11. So St. Genevieve can pick up the first down. And they have a third and seven coming up here. O'Brien out of the shotgun. Three receivers left, and one of those in motion. They'll hand it off to the tailback going left. Lots of running room and into the end zone touchdown. Anthony Nash that time, I think, with the carry as he was untouched into the end zone. And St. Genevieve adds to their total, now 49-12. to 12. The score coming with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Dragons appear to be going to kick the extra point. They're set up in that formation. Good snap. The hold is down. The kick is up, and it is good. The extra point good, 49-13 our score. Kennett with the lead. And the score by the Dragons there. St. Genevieve, folks, will be a lot better as the season goes on. We are experiencing a team that lost a ton of seniors lost off last year's squad. And these players will get more and more experience as we go. Let me tell you some of the scores that we have coming in as we're going to keep this one right here after the score. Haiti leads Scott City 48-27. That has to be a shock. And... Uh, a lot of folks, uh, I think, predicting the Rams to win that one. And now Monty just updating us. Carothersville has pulled ahead of Donovan 34-21. 34-21, Carothersville Tigers. And uh, that's the opponent of these Kennett Indians coming up next week at Hopke Field. Earlier, it was Portageville falling in their matchup as... Uh, I got a final score coming in, I think, from Ryan. I'm going to look, try to get a final score of that Portageville ball game. Here it is, 46 to nothing. East Prairie defeats Portageville in that one. Fans on their feet here at Hopke Field as the clock ticks down to zero, and that's going to do it in this ball game. 49-13 as they decided not to kick it off after the score by St. Genevieve, 49-13, our final score. We're going to take a two-minute break, come back, wrap things up. From Metz Cherry Stadium, this is Kennett Indian Football. Touchdown. The key to winning a football game is executing your game plan. Baker Wellman Brown Insurance can help with a plan to tackle your insurance needs. We can assist you with any need, including life, health, Medicare, home and auto insurance. We also help farmers and businesses score with affordable insurance plans. Call us today at 800-455-4677 for a winning game plan. Go Indians! When your child is sick, you want a pediatrician you can trust. Dr. Andrew Beach has been serving the Kennett and surrounding communities for over 20 years. Dr. Beach provides preventative, chronic, and acute medical care for children from birth to 21 years of age. He is now accepting new pediatric patients at his Kennett, Campbell, and Haytai locations. Call today to schedule an appointment for your child with Dr. Beach at 888-0001. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Beach. And, and we, we support, support our Kennett Indians. Indians. When it comes to taking out a loan, you need a team you can trust. A local community bank you can depend on. At First State Community Bank, we are that team. We're local people making local lending decisions. Whether it's buying a home or even a new car, you can rest easy knowing all decisions are made in the communities we live and work in. Speak to our expert lenders at your local branch or visit fscb.com today to get started. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, Bank NMLS number 412605. Is your home, autos, farm, business, or commercial property adequately protected from possible losses such as fire, lightning, windstorm, or hail? Disasters can strike us at any time. 
Let T.R. Baker Insurance Agency in Kennett give you the peace of mind you're looking for. We at T.R. Baker Insurance Agency support our Kennett Indians 100%. Go Indians! T.R. Baker Agency, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennett. Terry Jones back at Mets Cherry Stadium as we wrap this one up. 49-13, the Kennett Indians with the win tonight over the St. Genevieve Dragons. The Indians got on the scoreboard first on the opening kickoff. The kick was to Bodie Ellis on the near side. Bodie, a lateral, throws it all the way across to the right side of the field to Jordan Jarrett. Jordan took it about 80 yards into the end zone. It was 7-0 Kennett. But then, on the first play from the line of scrimmage, the Dragons score. A long pass over the middle. The ball was stripped out of the receiver's hands, but it bounced right up into one of the other Dragon receivers who took it into the end zone. The extra point attempt was blocked. It was 7-6 to six at that point, and then the Indians poured it on. Jordan Jarrett from 12 yards out with a minute 48 to go in the first quarter. Extra point by Pritchett. Good, 14-6 to six then for Kennett. Then with 7.24 in the second quarter, Bodie Ellis, the senior quarterback, from eight yards into the end zone. Again, Pritchett's extra point was good, 21-6. And then for good measure, Jordan Jarrett with his second touchdown of the evening, coming with 5.30 to go in the second quarter. Pritchett's extra point attempt made it 28-6 as they went to the locker room. Third quarter, Indians get a stop after they kicked it away to the Dragons. And then Daniel Boatman, his first of two touchdowns on the evening, comes with 10 minutes to go in the third quarter as he goes in from five yards out. Extra point again by Pritchett Good, 35-6. to six. Then Bodie Ellis with his second touchdown of the evening, 6.28 to go in the quarter, made it 42-6 to six after Pritchett's extra point was good. And then Daniel Boatman with his second touchdown coming with 7.29 to play. Uh, in the third, Daniel Boatman made it 49-6 to six in favor of the Indians. And then Nash goes into the end zone for St. Genevieve with two minutes to play in the ball game. And the extra point attempt was good, 49-13, our final score. Jordan Jarrett on the evening had three touchdowns for the Indians. Uh, Bodie Ellis had two. Daniel Boatman with two, and a good performance by the Kennett Indians against a pesky St. Genevieve Dragon ball club this evening. 49-13, our final score. We will be at Hopke Field next Friday night as the Indians go on the road to take on the Carothersville Tigers. As our latest scores, before we wrap things up, Carothersville leading Donovan by 13, 34-21. Last report, Haytow over Scott City, 48-27, to and... Uh, Portageville fell uh, big in their matchup tonight. So Portageville still looking for their first win of the season. Here, Kennett wins 49-13. Final score, thanks to Mark Goddard running our radio controls at the studios, Caleb Alley running our camera, and also thank you to uh, Tad Jones, engineering and producing our video broadcast tonight. Be sure to tell your family, friends, the Facebook Live will be up, and uh, you can watch the video replay of that, and also at kboaradio.com. And thanks to all of our sponsors who make our broadcast possible. We'll talk to you next Friday night from Hopke Field with more Kennett Indian football. So long from Mets Cherry Stadium. You've been watching Kennett Indian Football. Tonight's broadcast presented by Harris Pharmacy, your locally owned community pharmacy in Kennett. Also by Baker Implement, providing a great selection of Case IH equipment with 11 convenient locations in Missouri and Arkansas. Also by McDonald's of Kennett, a proud partner of the Kennett community. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Also by Wilcoxon's Home Place, furniture and appliances. Shop smart, shop local. Wilcoxon's Home Place, a proud supporter of the Kennett Indians. Also by NEA Baptist, get better. By the law firm, Crow, Reynolds, Shetley, McVeigh, and Sharon. Proven success, decades of experience, and a supporter of the Kennett Indians. By Sonic Drive-In of Kennett. Before or after the game, this is how we Sonic. Also by Glenn Sane Motors with locations in Kennett, Rector, and Paragool. Best price, best service, 
you'll find it at Glen Sane. Also by the law firm of Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan, LLP. Experienced lawyers fighting for you. Also brought to you by T.R. Baker Insurance, your independent agent on Independence Avenue in Kennett. By Dr. Andrew Beach, specializing in pediatrics on Tico Road in Kennett. Also by First State Community Bank, proud to be a part of the community and a Kennett Indian supporter. Also by Baker Wellman Brown Insurance and Investment Services, serving families and businesses in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas since 1939. And the all-new Kennett Bowling Lanes. Great fun, great food. Come out after the game, the Kennett Bowling Lanes. This broadcast, a production of Pollock Broadcasting Company.